your claim that the, the, the concept of Tawheed is uh, irrational. Hmm. Let me text him. Let us see. <clears throat> Please invite your friends. Until this guy call me. I'm texting him. I'm fixing the recording so that I make sure it goes on the net. He's saying he is fixing the recording, so to be sure, it's going to be in the net. <laughs> Trust me, we are the one who want to be sure it is in the net. <laughs> oh boy! <coughs> hey, you are in the net already. What do you mean you want to be sure it is in the net? Please, guys, invite your friends. Why, why why we have only 167 share come on share the link <clears throat> invite more people All right. All right. Let us see. See when I open my uh, my Skype, I find tons of uh, a lot of text. <clears throat> All right, he's calling. Hello. I hear you. Is this Christian Prince? Yes, we are live on air, my friend. Okay, it's good. Um, may I, I listen may, I you introduce your, you. may you introduce yourself to us so people they will hear you and know mm -hmm. we are talking to who I am Muhammad from the Middle East and ah. inshallah I, I intend to expose you on this call okay, well that's good go ahead expose me my friend go ahead yes I'm calling you because of what you, of your claims mm -hmm. regarding the uh, consistent the, the uh, <laughs> consistency of the Trinity and your um, your claim that the, the, the concept of Tawheed is uh, irrational. First of all, I never said <coughs> that uh, I don't believe in one, one God. I believe that you Muslim, when you say the word Tawheed and you speak Arabic, as I guess, Tawheed does not mean one God. Tawheed means unification of many things, correct? The, 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 the term Tawheed is irrelevant. What we know is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that he is one. Yeah, but he never say anything about Tawheed, right? He said in the Quran, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ أَحَدْ does not mean one. وَإِلَهُكُمْ إِلَهٌ وَاحِدٌ Your Lord is my one friend, Lord. My friend, my friend. Okay. إِلَهُكُمْ إِلَهُ Who is the one who is talking? Allah. Okay. How Allah, he says that your God is one God. If he is the God, why he don't say, I am your God and I am one God? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that he is the one God. All right. If you go in the Quran, do you have your Quran with you? I memorized the Quran, inshallah, I will be able to. No record. problem. If we go in the Quran, verse number one, it says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Who is talking there? Allah. Okay, how Allah is saying the name of Allah if He is the one who is talking? It is irrelevant. This is a question. There is a disease in your heart. I which see. You are the not... second I ask you a question, which is embarrassing, you say, it's a, I have a disease in my heart. The second no, I, I ask you a question, which I'm is. Kidding. 
which is a clearly you have no answer for it. What you start, you start insulting. What kind of debate? Unless, debate? Are you calling? Are you calling me to insult me to say to me because your God He said to you, all oh, those who they are, uh, uh, they have a disease in their heart, they can't understand the Quran, correct? So this is no, why you are no, saying to me. This is this is not what I came to call you about. You you claimed that Tawheed is irrational. You don't have Tawheed in Islam. How you have Tawheed, but yet you pray, you you you, you kiss a black stone. We don't pray to anything besides Allah. My friend, did, did, did your prophet kiss a black stone? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. You believe in one God. The God is inside the stone or he is above in heaven? He is above the heavens. So why you kiss the black stone? We kiss it as as uh, an act of worship to Allah. See? Yes, did, you, did, you hear, did you hear Mr. Muhammad saying? He kissed the black stone as an act of worship to Allah. So the black stone is Allah and the earth. No, you just said that everybody heard you. You said you kissed mm -hmm. the black stone as an act of worship. Guys, did he say that, or I'm the one who said that? I am not the one who said that, my friend. You said I kissed the black Allah, stone Allah, as an Allah, act Allah, of Allah, worship Allah, to Allah. Allah. Okay, what is the connection between the stone and Allah? How you kiss the black stone to worship Allah? Explain to us. Go ahead. The black stone is a creation, and everything is created by Allah. Only Allah is the uncreated being, <clears throat> He is the only eternal being. Did you say, <laughs> did you say? Allah is the only uncreated. Yes. Okay. So, what is the Quran then? The Quran is an attribute of Allah. Okay. So, it is created or not created? It is uncreated, but it is not. We do not say that. Okay. It is hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have a very uh, simple question for you. Is the Quran going to be destroyed? The Quran is from Allah. He spoke it. This, this, this is not Allah. my friend. This is not my question. Is the Quran going to be destroyed? It will return to Allah. No, that's not the question. I'm, I'm not asking you it's going to return, will stay. What return? It's with Allah anyway, isn't it? In the Loh al Mahfud, in the, in the, in the, in the no, protected board. It subsists in Allah. My friend, my friend. My question, Allah. my friend, my question is simple. Is the, 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 the Quran is going to be destroyed or it's preserved? It is eternal. I, do, I never said the Quran is eternal. So is it eternal the or Quran not? Either you saying, my friend, why do you want to answer the question? Is the Quran eternal or not? I will, I will answer you if you answer me this question. See, Allah's, no, 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 my friend, you don't uh, answer a question by a question. Answer me. I mean, this is your religion. You do not know if your book is eternal or not. Is the Quran, the word of Allah, is it eternal or not? The Quran is not eternal, but it is uncreated. So what does that mean? Will be destroyed? I, I, doesn't, I didn't say it will be destroyed. I said it will return to Allah. But, but the return does not make it an eternal because the return is still there. Is it eternal or not? It returns in the sense this that is, this we, is not the question. This is not the question. Is the Quran going to stay forever and ever and ever, or is going not to stay forever and ever and ever? Is it there forever or no? Is is an action of Allah? Does it stay forever? My friend, the fact that Allah created my friend, you, does it so, stay okay, forever? So you are saying the Quran will be destroyed, right? I'm saying that it is not eternal. This is okay, so make it clear. When you say it's not eternal, it means it's going to be destroyed. Is that correct? It doesn't it, we don't say it will be destroyed? We don't say it perishes. So what do you mean? Not so how you say it is not eternal, and then you say it's, it's not going to be destroyed? So how, what will happen to it? What, when you say it's not going to be eternal, what will happen to the Quran? The Quran is an attribute of Allah. It is a quality of Allah. My friend, my it friend. So are you are you saying to me you are going to destroy the quality of Allah? It doesn't the qualities of Allah do not get destroyed. So how you, you say the you Quran is not eternal then? If this is one of the attribute of Allah, it is one of the quality of Allah. And then you say to me, it's not going to be forever. So you are saying to me, the quality of Allah are not eternal. The qualities of Allah, some of them are eternal, like his knowledge, his power. Is, the, eternal. is the word of Allah if of his knowledge or it is not from his knowledge? It's of his knowledge. So how you it say the knowledge of Allah will be destroyed? Allah speaks the Quran by his will and power. My friend, this and is not the question. This is not the question. How you say that the Quran is of the knowledge of Allah, and then in the same time to, to, to me, you say to me, it is not eternal. That means the knowledge of Allah is not eternal. Yeah, the key. It is not eternal in the sense that he speaks it. What speaks it? Uh, what, what speaks it? What do you mean? Are you Allah going to be mute? What, what, what do you mean? Allah will lose his ability to have a voice? What do you mean? No, Who cares if he speak it or not? My friend, my friend, he speak it or he don't speak it, it doesn't matter. He said it already. The one, the words he said, those are from the attribute of Allah, and you said that and you agreed. 
This is our from the attribute of Allah. And I said to you, what is the word of Allah? He said from his knowledge. So now he, his knowledge is not eternal. His knowledge is eternal. So the Quran is from his knowledge. And you said that already. So how is going to be destroyed? The Quran, Quran is spoken by his will. My friend, power. my friend, the Quran in the book here. I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about the Quran, the one Allah he said. Not in the book. Who care about the book? The book is a page. I print it. You burn it. I can, you know. This is not my question, Abdul. You are running away from the question. The Quran which Allah he said. The Quran, the Quran which Allah he spoke. The Quran which Allah he spoke in his mouth. Huh? Not the one he printed in the book in ink. Not the physical book. Who care about that one? So that Quran, the word of the word of Allah, the word of Allah is an attribute. Is an attribute of Allah. Is it going to be destroyed? Yes or no? It returns to Allah. This is not the question. This is not the question, guys. Look at this guy. Look at this Abdul. I ask him, is the is the word the, the, the uh, attribute of Allah? He says yes. Is I said, is the attribute of Allah is eternal? He says yes. And then I ask him, what will happen to it? He said, you will return. Who cares if it return or not? I am asking you, is the eternal is it is is the word of Allah which you said it is the attribute of Allah which you said that it is from the knowledge of Allah? Is it going to be destroyed? Yes or no? What is your point? If you see, you are scared to answer. You are scared to answer. You I call me. You insist to I debate me. You are begging me for a debate. And when I put you in the corner, what's your point? Answer me. I and I will tell you my point. Answer me. Answer me. Don't run away from the question saying, what's your point? You will see my point. So let us go back to zero. Let us go back to zero. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Hold on. I know Muslims are slow. So we go from the zero. No. The Quran will return to Allah. The Quran. I'm, I'm just repeating what you said. The Quran will return to Allah. The Quran is from attribute of Allah. The Quran is yes. the word of Allah. It is from the knowledge of Allah. I ask you, is the knowledge of Allah will be destroyed? You said no, it is eternal. All right. So now the Quran cannot be destroyed because it must be eternal for it is from the word of Allah. So now what will happen to the Quran? I did not say it is eternal. You said it is from the attribute of Allah. Did you say that or yes. no? Yes. Okay. So are you saying the attribute of Allah will be destroyed? I'm saying the attributes of Allah, some of them, they are eternal, like his knowledge and his power. But you say that the Quran is from the knowledge of Allah, is it or no? The knowledge. So are you saying the knowledge of Allah? Are you saying the knowledge of Allah will be destroyed? The speech itself. How can how Who can, care about how the speech? Can, I'm not talking about the speech, the man. I'm not talking about the speech. What's a speech? Are we talking about George Bush making a speech? We are talking about God. This is the word of God. This is not a speech. God don't speak in vain. God don't say stupid things. Are you saying to me that Allah, he said some stupid stuff, those will be destroyed and some important stuff that they will stay? I'm not talking about that. I'm saying uh, that Allah, he have words. And those words, are they part of his attribute? You said yes. Okay. This, those words, those words. Listen, listen, listen. Don't tell me there is some, there's some important, some not important. This is an insult to your God. My God, his words is internal and they are important. There's not, no silly words God, he say. So I'm asking you now, maybe, maybe your God, maybe your God, he have a silly words. I understand. Listen, listen. Now I'm asking you, let me repeat again. Please, let us not to shout, go over each other so we can have an end for this conversation in a nice way. This words, the one you said, it is from the knowledge of Allah. It's going to return for him. That's wonderful. Okay. What does that mean? What will happen? Explain. What will happen? You said it is part of his knowledge. It is of his knowledge, attribute. So what yeah. will happen to the attribute of Allah, which is the word of Allah? Go ahead. The attribute of Allah was spoken in time. That attribute of Allah, which is his spoken words, was spoken in time. He spoke the Quran after having not spoken the Quran. However, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we say that he has speech, we, 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 we nonetheless understand that he has always been speaking things his words by his will and power mm. whenever he wills however he wills so when you say that as a specific spoken word is eternal that is nonsense did, not, did i say as a specific spoke, spoke i said the word of allah the quran is one of the words of allah allah he spoke a lot he talked he, he keep talking according to islam okay so now the words of allah all of it it cannot be but some it, of it important my, my friend my friend my friend you are be you are you are not you are not being respectful to your god because what you are saying to me your god he uh, considers some of his words important and the rest are silly. You are silly, uh, Christian. Well, you are the one saying that to me. You are saying that some words are going to be preserved and some words will not be preserved. Why they will not be preserved? Why? Is it all the word of Allah? Is the, is the word of Allah is the word of Allah equal to each other? Is it or not? 
the word of Allah is uncreated. This is yeah, not the question. This is not Muslim the question. Allah. Okay. If I, if the word of Allah is not a created, so where is the word of Allah coming from? It's from Allah. So how it's not a create any created, but yet it's coming from Allah. That's mean that Allah is not the one who brought the Quran. He borrowed it from somebody else. He just that spoke it. Right. My friend, my friend, you just say something very important. Abdul, Abdul, listen. You just spoke of something very important, very serious. Who spoke the word of the word? You said Allah. Okay. Is the word of Allah created? You say no. Okay. So now we have any created word. Allah spoke it. So it cannot be from him because he is not the one who created it. What does it mean for a thing to be speaking a word? You answer. My friend, I am I am now. What does it mean I, to speak the word? Say, say, again, does it mean? say again, your voice was cutting. What does it mean for a thing to speak a word? Well, uh, as an example, your prophet, he said the tree speak, the wolf speak. You know the stones. Yes. The stones yes. they say to Muhammad as salamu alaykum. Crazy people so they hear stuff, and that's none of my business. Now this is not my question. Don't change the topic. Listen. Don't change the topic. When you're a prophet, when you're a prophet, the stones say to him as salamu alaykum, and he say, "Hada jabalun yuhibuna wa jabalun yuhibuhu." This is a mountain. The mountain say as salamu alaykum to your prophet. Everybody speaking Islam, but that's not the question. The question is, you're a prophet. He's you, your prophet. He gave you Quran, gave you the word of Allah. Allah, He spoke. You said to me now. Everybody heard you. That those who spoke in words is the word of Allah, but is not created by Allah. That's very dangerous. So where did Allah he got the words? You are, you are being silly, uh, Miskin. You are you are saying that uh, when a mountain speaks, it is the mountain that speaks. It is not Allah who speaks. My friend, I'm not talking about the. I'm giving you an example now. This is not the question. I focus with you, Abdul. Focus. You said that Allah is the one who spoke the words, but he did not create the words. That means he is borrowing the word. Those are not his, my friend. Where Allah he get the words from? What do you mean he borrowed the words? The spoken Be words. Because, the you said, because you said, because you said, because you said, my friend, Allah did not create the words. So where he get the words from? What do you mean the words? The words are his. The words of he Allah. Says, How you say it is his, but it's not created. It is his. Okay, his what? Who is the one who created the word? Is it Allah created the word? Allah did Allah create His word? Yes or no? No. Okay, guys, guys, Allah He spoke them only. He did not create them. That's mean He did, He's not yes. the one. That's mean He is not the one who made them. I speak now. I can speak the word of Allah. I can read the Quran. Okay, I'm speaking those words, but it's not mine. So now you you just you just confirm to us that Allah is a God who speak words, but those are not His His words. The words of Allah are uncreated, so it's meaningless to say that who created the words of Allah. Abdul, it's uncreated. So how Allah He is speaking the words, and He claimed those are His words if He is not the one who created them. He did not create His words; He spoke them. My uh, friend, it, no problem. You are saying to me that Allah He speak, but He don't create the words. That's wonderful. I have a TV station here. The TV. I will open the TV for you, and you will see the TV speaking. But it's not his word. It's the guy who speak there in the in the studio. So now you are telling me that Allah is the same as a TV. He speak the words, but he did not create the words. The, the words of Allah are re, are related to Allah, whereas the words of human beings are related to human beings. I don't care. It's related to who. I'm saying to you, as long as Allah he speak the word, but he did not create the word. That's crazy. How he speak the words, but those are not his words. Is it his word or the the word of the neighbor? Where the word uh, of Allah is coming from? You said it is not Allah who created, right? He spoke it in time. My friend, I don't care. He spoke it in time. He spoke it before time. This is not the question. You, we heard that he spoke them, but he did not make them. Who is the maker of the words of Allah? There's no creator. There's no creator. So they came from where? They are his attributes of speech. My friend, his they attribute of his speech, but you told me is, is not eternal. You told me a second ago they are not eternal. So Allah attribute is not eternal. So Allah is not eternal. Because the second you say to me, attribute of God is not eternal, that means God Himself is not eternal because this is one of his attributes. That doesn't follow. This this is a big mistake. Abdul, it's when your you mistake. You need to explain to me. You see, you were so excited about worshiping one God and return to be having that God who is the crazy God who says stupid things. And you Muslims, you come with the with the stupid philosophy. It does not make sense. God, He speaks words, but He does not create them. How that can happen? Just the things when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala speaks and when He acts. Those actions are not created. I'm by not Allah talking about the action, and your God never act anything. What action? Your God, He cannot do anything. He, your God, He said to Muhammad, read it three times, and still Muhammad cannot read. He's squeezing three times, and still Muhammad cannot read. My Lord Jesus, He said to that dead man, come from the grave. He rose from the grave. My Jesus, He said to the man, see, He saw. My Jesus, He said to the man who cannot walk, walk, He walked. 
Your God said to Muhammad three times, read, and still he cannot read, and he die, he cannot read. What action? Now go back to the zero. Go back to zero, Abdul. Listen, how Allah, he speak words, how Allah, he speak words, but yet he don't create the words which he speak. Go ahead. Because they subsist in his being, they are of God. They Thank you very God. much, guys. Did he say they are of God? Did he say they are of God? Of God, of God. Okay, how they are of God, but they are not created of God. Uh, like his knowledge, it is of God. So the his knowledge is not a created. Thank you very much. So his knowledge is not a created. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Quran is of his knowledge. Is that correct? It is of his knowledge. A part of. Thank his you. Knowledge. Thank you. So how are you saying to me that now his knowledge will be destroyed? His, I did not say that his knowledge will be destroyed. You said it's, it's not universal. eternal. You said it's not eternal. Is it eternal or not? It's not eternal because it has a beginning and it has an end. So the knowledge of Allah has beginning? Are you saying that? No, the, the speech of Allah. How you just said, no, I'm not talking about the speech, man. I'm not talking about the speech. I am not talking about the speech. Stop playing like a kid. I'm talking about the word of God, which is the knowledge of God. The speech who care because there is many words, my friend. Let me let, let me school you. Are you are you sure you are a Muslim? I am sure that you are lying. Okay, are Christian you sure? Muslims. Are you sure you are a Muslim? Say yes. I am a Muslim. Okay. Did are you saying the Quran did lie when the Quran says that the if the if the ocean is an ink, yes, okay, will not be enough, the ocean will be finished before Allah finishes speaking, yes or no? I believe in this, yes. Okay, so how you say to me that Allah He spoke in certain time and that's it, it's going to be over. Chapter 18, verse number 109. Confirm and hold on, let me let me explain to the people they are listening and laughing. How you say that Allah word will come back to him and he will stop talking, which means he will stop talking and that will be deleted when the Quran confirmed that if the ocean was ink will not be enough to write the word of Allah, which means the word of Allah never stopped. Because Allah has always been speaking by His will and power. Whenever my friend, my friend, you, you see, you are contradicting yourself. Islam is a mockery. Islam is a mockery, my friend. How, 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 listen, 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 we cannot talk in the same time. How the Quran confirm that the word of Allah is not enough to write them the sea water if it is an ink. And do you know how much that ink is? Like the whole Quran now, I can, I can print it in less than a quarter of a cup. So Allah must be speaking a lot now, a lot, not a stop. He's like a radio course, station. Yes, okay. He has always been now, speaking. Oh, so, thank you very much, guy. Did he say he's always been speaking? Thank you very much. You said that Allah, he spoke only in certain time, but now you are saying Allah is always speaking. So the speaking words That's of Allah, right. which is always coming, what the point of it if nobody can hear it? And why Allah no. speaking always? No, and why he speak too much? And why he's talking no. to himself? Let's listen, you, 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 you are in big trouble. Allah, he keep talking, guys, but non-stop talking forever. And he said that, he confirmed that. Now, Allah is speaking to who now? He speaks to whomever he wills of his creation. Who, 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 who? Uh, did, didn't you say Muhammad is the last prophet? So he's speaking to who? He, he always, he is always speaking. He speaks to his angels. Speak to himself. To, huh? Speak to his angels. But you just said his, the, wor the, wor the word will be destroyed. The word the eternal. Why he speak to the angels? Uh, what he will say to them? What? what, what? Listen, 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 listen. listen. My, my, Abdul, let us go back to zero. Let's go back to zero. Is the Quran, is the Quran part of the word of Allah? Yes or not? The Quran is part of the word of Allah. Okay. Is it holy or not? Is it? Is it holy or not? What do you mean by holy? Holy, you don't know what holy now. You do not know what holy mean. It is a divine. It is uncreated. Guys, yeah, did he say it's a divine? Did he, did he say the Quran is a divine? Did you hear it? D guys, did you hear it? The Quran is divine. How you say to me the divine is not eternal? Because it is an action of Allah. You see, the Quran is not an action. Are you a fool? The Quran is words cannot be action. Don't stop being it, stupid. It secondly, second, secondly, secondly, how the action can be divine? Are you stupid or what? Action is an action. My, my friend, my friend, my friend, the action, the action, the action. The, listen, Abdul, listen. You said it is divine. Do you know what divine means? Divine means uncreated to do with God. Divine is any created, but it is God. When you say divine, it's mean it is God itself. That that is what's God. God is divine. Is God Himself. My we friend, my friend. Okay, so now we have. So based on you, we have two divine. We have Allah and we have the Quran. There are no two persons. There is one person. There are one person. So you are saying that the Quran is a person. 
The Quran is not a person. So the how Quran you said how you said there's no two person? You said they are divine. They are two divine. How they can be two divine? But yet the Quran is not a person. The Quran is not a person. It is an attribute. Do My friend, you, know you, you see, you see. Now you go back to zero. How it is the attribute of Allah, which is the knowledge of Allah according to you, and yet is going to be destroyed. Which means you are destroying one of the the most important attribute of God, which is His knowledge. But you believe in God, you Christian prince. My friend, don't change the topic. Don't change the, the topic. What, how you say? How you say I'm the attribute of Allah will be destroyed? You, you, know, you, you know what? You know what? I, I, I have a challenge for you. Can you show me what reference that says that the Quran will be destroyed? It says, uh, uh, Ahmed al used to say, So, the, nowhere it says that he will be destroyed. What are you talking about? Does that mean, be honest, you speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. Does that mean what he says? From him, it started for or to, to him is going back. That means destroyed. No, show me no. reference. Show no, me reference, please. You see, you see, you keep talking about the Quran will be destroyed, but until now, you did not use you, you did not even give me I one did reference. Not say that it will be destroyed. So, it's not going, it thank you very much, guys. It is not will be destroyed. If you go back, if you go back in the video, he said it's not eternal. How it's not going to be destroyed, but it is eternal, not, not eternal. What do you mean by destroyed? Do you mean my friend, you are the one who said you is not you know what destroyed means. Don't play game now. now. You, it is I not going to be that it has an end. Listen, I can't listen, that it listen, has listen, an end. listen, listen. You said it's not going to be destroyed. And in the same time, you said it is not eternal. Destruction is like creation. When Allah creates a tree, he then destroys it and he makes it perish into the earth. This is not the in question, sense, my friend. This, this, is, not, the this is the question. The no, this is not the question. Destruction, yeah. destruction, destruction, yeah. destruction yeah. should be first. First of all, oh, no, no, no. Destruction can happen only for something created in order to be this. Because if you did not create something, then you cannot destroy nothing, right? So, how Allah can, how Allah, how you, how you say, my friend? So, is the Quran, is the Quran. Is the Quran, which is divine according to you, which is the word of Allah according to you, which is part of the knowledge of Allah according to you, which is according, it is a, a, a part of the attribute or one of the attribute of Allah according to you, which is the knowledge of Allah according to you. Is it going to have an end or not? It ca I can accept that it has an end. You cannot. It it, you can it or you cannot. I don't say Allah. again. Say again, please. You cannot accept. Does it have an end or not? I can't accept that it has an end, but it cannot be destroyed by Allah as in being created. You can accept that it has an end. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. He cannot, he can't accept that it has an end. You, you said that. You can, you can accept that, correct? Yes, okay, so, okay, so, so if it's going to have an end, it's going to be have end by, by who? Who is the one who will end the existence of the word of Allah? When Allah acts on the world, every particular action has a beginning and has an end. My friend, I'm not talking about the action. Stop playing games. Stop playing I'm games. Playing I am I'm talking about his words. You see, Allah spoke in words, letters, letters, words, 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 not action. Stop, stop, stop talking, stop talking foolishness. I'm not talking about an action. I will tell you what action this. Now I am drinking tea, okay? And I told you I'm drinking tea, right? The D is over, but my what the word I said to you, it's not over because it is preserved. I'm God, so I am saying to you what I did. So now, Allah, he said things. Those things he said, are they eternal or they will be destroyed? He speaks in time. One thing doesn't matter. matter. He speaks on time. This is the question. What's wrong with you? He speaks in time. This is the My friend, guys, look at this. Look at this. You see this guy. He is desperate to call me to debate me and he want to expose me. And look what he did. He exposes God. They are very confused religion. They kiss a black stone and they think by kissing a black stone, it's an act of worship to the divine Allah. The black stone is part of the body of Allah. Otherwise, why you kiss it? You said it's a because it's an act of worship to Allah. You kiss a stone. Is, you kiss a stone. Is, you say, listen, I, I'm, I'm reviewing what you said to me since you called from the beginning. People, they will love this debate. And supposed to you call me to expose me. And you are an Arab, right? I like it. And you are, I think, maybe you are from the Gulf. But listen, those Muslims, guys, they kiss a stone because it is an act of worship. To who? To Allah. To Allah. Okay, that's mean. That's mean. That you said to me that Allah created for you a stone, so yes. by kissing it, you are worshiping Him, correct? And you, we do not worship the, the stone, we worship Allah. No, 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 no. If, if I, I did not say anything. You said it, it's a, you said it's an act of worship to Allah, so kissing the stone is an act of worship to Allah. Listen, you said that. Listen, 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 no, 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 no. You see, everybody, everybody, there's only one creator, 
There is one creator above the heavens. I'm Abdul. Abdul, don't change the topic. 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 Please, please. We are, topic. we are not kids. We are not, we are not kids. We are not kids. Please respect yourself. Respect. How, how, how old are you? How old? How old? How old, how old are you, my friend? How old are you? Are you over the age of sixteen? What? None of your business. You see, you are. I think you are maybe fifty years old, and yet you cannot even keep on any conversation. So how you how you kiss the black stone as an act of worship, and yet you have a god. And he is the one who sent you a stone, created a stone for you, so you can kiss it in order to worship him. That is a paganism. This is if number I one. Were, listen, listen. If I were to, if if I were to, um, if I were to give charity, that is an act of worship. If I were to speak good words, that is an act of worship. Everything we do that is pleasing to Allah. My friend, is an act my of friend, worship. my friend. You see, you are you are changing the topic. What does charity have to do with kissing a stone? <laughs> Giving charity is useful for mankind. It's a nice, it's a mercy, it's a good thing to do. But kissing a black stone, what a favor, what a favor you do to God, what a favor you do to your God, Allah, by kissing his stone. Tell me. What what favor do you do to Allah? But, 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 yani, we don't do any favors. So, so why you are kissing the stone? Why he you, why you are saying to me it's an act of worship? What is the act of worship by kissing a stone? To obey Allah. Obey him in what? Where Allah he said to you, kiss the stone, my friend. His prophet told his prophet's example. He said, uh -huh. so take from my from me the, the act of worship. Thank you very much. So you are saying that yes. your prophet is the first one first one to do the act of worship for the black stone, correct? Not for what? Allah. Okay, so, for Allah. so Allah told Muhammad kiss the black stone. Yes. Where? Everything when I am people and Hawa, he does not speak of his own accord. My friend, your prophet, he speaks of his own accord, and we can prove it from the Quran in the chapter of At-Tahreem. In the chapter of At-Tahreem, your prophet, you're a prophet. No, you are changing the topic. You are the one who said he You are the one who mentioned it to me. In the chapter of At-Tahreem, Muhammad he forbid himself from having sex with Maria the Cup. So Allah he sent him a verse saying, Why you are fabricating things I did not say to you? Why you are making orders I never said to you? Why you are forbidding things I never said to you to forbid? So don't tell me he, he don't. He, now we go back no, to zero. Now we go back to zero. No, 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 what this, what this is, is the point? What is the point of this kissing a black? What is the point of kissing a black stone? Is it true that the black stone they forgive your sin? No. Are you sure? Allah forgives the sins. Are you sure, my friend? Allah forgives the sins. All right. So Allah No problem. If we go in the hadith, we will find the, the following. Muhammad he said that the one who wiped the black stone and the rukun al yamani Allah erase his sin. Is that correct? Allah. Allah. Mm. No, no, no. Okay, Allah. Okay. Okay. Allah. Allah erased their sin. Why? It's Allah. Okay. This is not, this I, is I, not I, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. Okay. Why, if I touch those stones, Allah will forgive my sin? And does the hadith say that Allah will forgive your sin? Yes or no? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives in Allah my friend however, my friend the hadith, in, the hadith in front of me it says I was with Ibn Abbas and Muawiyah and would not pass any corner without touching it so I Ibn Abbas said to him the Prophet would not touch any besides the black stone and the Yemeni corner so Muawiyah, so, so, so Muawiyah said uh, uh, there is not a part in the house is not touchable now I will show you a hadith where it says that you know the difference between me and you, my friend so don't talk about the difference the difference between me and you i will tell you the difference between me and you you kiss a stone i don't this is the difference now now don't change the topic then change the topic why you're a prophet why you're a prophet did you're a prophet did you're a prophet say that black stone they will erase your sin the black stones do not erase the sins allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives my friend my 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 friend the hadith let me show you the hadith in front of us and you will read it yet your prophet here we go read with me carefully please abu abdul rahman said why do i only see you touching the these two corners he said i heard the messenger of allah saying touching them erase the sin touching them erase the sin which means by touching those stones your sin is erased and i heard him saying whoever strung of late uh, uh, seven time it's like freeing a slave so you're a prophet claim that by touching stones in the kaaba two corners the black stone and the yemeni corner your sin is erased why explain to us 
it is it is erased by Allah because we are doing an act of worship, which is we are visiting the house of Allah built by Abraham. And we, uh, guys, did you, hear, did you hear this? Did you hear this? Says, because because you touch the stone, Allah forgive your sin. I mean, this is madness. So I go now. I rape one hundred women. I kill one thousand beans, and I do go and touch the stone. And I am my name is a Christian prince. Even I don't believe in Allah. I touch the stone. My sin is forgiven. This is how you put it. It's not how I believe. No, this is what it says. He did not say if you believe and if you do, etc. If you touch the stone, it erases your sin. It says that in front of you. I don't. I don't know. I don't. Know. Okay. Do, I do know that it that's, has. That's good. Has, there is. There is. Um, there is in the Quran. Hmm. Uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, uh, uh, "Obey Allah and obey His Messenger." So we obey Allah and we obey His Messenger, and and, and uh, the reason we, we we and there are many acts of worship. Yeah, and of course, everything in Islam has a purpose. As as um, so, what the purpose of the stone? In the, in, in the Sharia, has what a is purpose. the what is the purpose? There's the wisdom behind it. Okay, but what I is the wisdom what, behind? You might not know all the wisdoms, my friend. What is the what wisdom? I'm trying but to learn. How is this related to my the friend, topic of Allah our topic? Is our topic is you Muslims are not worshiping one God. You are a pagan person. You are not worshiping one God because if God is one, and you believe in God, which is in up in up in heaven, then why? You need to kiss a stone and touch a stone, and you tell me it's an act of worship. Why touching a stone will erase your sin? You, you know what kind of religion based on touching stones erasing That's your sin? It is our sins. What? Why it is our sins? You are a Christian, my friend. How? My friend, my friend. The hadith says it clear, clearly: whoever touched them, it's erased. It's it erased the sin. The, the stones erase the sin. He didn't say the word Allah. Do you see the word Allah there? Not only Allah forgives the sin. My friend, do you see the word Allah there? There. Truth, only Allah forgives the sins. You can't shake my friend. So, why you need to kiss the stone? What is the stone for? It's a stone, is it? Oh, is, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Uh, do you believe Muhammad when he said that he was saying the truth? If you touch the stones, they erase your sin. I believe the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was he, he, he when he spoke his sp uh, in matters pertaining to the religion that he was infallible. No problem. This is not a question. Are you saying you believe in that? That if you touch three little stones, Allah forgive your sin according to you? You believe in that? Yani if the hadith says it, I will accept it. No, no. Either you say, either you say I accept it or you say I don't. Give me a straight answer. I can't answer. say that I don't know. But this is not the topic of the debate. My friend, why you don't know? It's in the front of your eyes. I show it in the screen. Why you don't say yes or say no? Do you believe? Do you believe what Muhammad saying? It's in YouTube. I'm showing it to you. Let me read it for you. Do you want me to read it for you in Arabic, my friend? Let me read it for you in Arabic. No problem. Here we go. Read it with me. Inni sami'atu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul inna masah masah inna masahuma yahutani al-khati'ah masahuma. He didn't say by Allah. He didn't say by the by by the angel. He didn't say anything. If you if you wipe your yahutani al-khati'ah. Yes, that's it. This is translated as the 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 touching the the the. Yani Masih means to to wipe. When you wipe the stone, mm. your sins are forgiven. Thank you very much. Just automatically, wipe. automatically. Did you say that, guys? Did you hear it? When you wipe your stone, automatically your son is forgiven. So the stone has the power uh, of forgiving sin. You are not being fair. Okay, okay, my friend. Why I'm not being fair? I'm giving you time to talk. We are talking at the because, same time. I'm not because, insulting you. Because because whether Allah tells us to touch a stone or to touch a tree, it doesn't matter. No, it matters because it has to do with forgiving sin. And you are the one who said to me, only God forgives sin. So how only and God forgives God sin, but yet I... Okay, my friend, Allah. can Allah forgive my sin without touching the stones? Can Allah forgive my son? Can, can Allah, my friend, can Allah forgive my sin without touching the stones? Yes or no? Allah can forgive sins if we... Uh, yani as, uh, how, however he wills. Okay, he, he so why, why it's required to touch the stones? It is not required to touch the stone. But to no, forgiven. it's required now because you just said to me, my sin will be forgiven if I touch them. So now it is for me if I want to. You see, if Allah would forgive my sin without the stones, this means the stones are not needed. What does that mean? You, you see, what? let me show you, my friend, my friend. Hold on, hold on. Just a second. Muhammad, 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 Muhammad. Dr. Muhammad, Dr. Muhammad, Sheikh, Sheikh Muhammad. Yeah, Sheikh, listen. As long as you are saying to me and you agree. That the prophet he said, touch the stones, erase your sin. You wash, you wipe them, it, it, it erase your sin. Wonderful. Okay. So now, if I am a Muslim, I learned that the prophet saying to me, if you do that, your sin is erased. Now, if there is other options to do it, what is the need of this option? If I can do, ask Allah for forgiveness of my sin without touching the stone. So what does the stone for? 
it is irre totally irrelevant. Are you saying that we are doing an act of polytheism? My friend, I'm not saying that. It's you who's saying that. You just said okay. that. You, you just said Allah, He forgives sin as He will. But this is His will. Are you say, are you saying and this is are you saying it is not the are you saying that Muhammad are you say, are you saying it's Muhammad is lying when he said if you wipe the stones Allah forgive your sin? No. Okay. So Allah so Muhammad did not tell the lie. He is telling the truth. So you Muslims believe that the stones is the way to forgive sin. You touch the stones, Allah forgive your sin. You don't touch the stones, Allah don't forgive your sin. But how is this related to what I wrote to you? I wrote to you, I want to speak to you about Tawheed and Trinity. This is about Trinity. This is about Trinity. Here we go. We have now, we have a stone, we have Quran, we have, we have, we have, we have Allah. You know, you have many gods. Which, which one is your God? You see, for us, as a, for, for us who believe in a Trinity, we believe in one God. We, we don't, we don't believe in 10 gods. You Muslim believe in many gods. Okay, let me ask you, let me ask you. When you, when you say to me that the, the Quran is a divine, the word of Allah is divine, the Quran is divine, and Allah is divine, so now we have two divine. Which divine is the one you worship? The Quran is not a person. It is like God's knowledge. My friend, how it can be a divine, how it can be a divine, but yet it's not a person? Because it is an attribute of Allah. Do you believe that Allah is not my friend? My friend, in Christianity, it makes sense to say the word of God is divine because the Christian believe that God and his word is one. You Muslims don't believe in that. Do you believe that God and His Word is one? Yes or no? I believe Allah is one. He is one. This is not a question. This is not the question. So now we, we you, you, you confirm that you Muslims don't believe in God and His Word to be one. So now we have two. The, the, the Word is divine and Allah is divine. So now we have two divine. So how you claim that you worship one God? In the same time, you kiss a black stone and you say to us that this is a stone Allah He sent to us. So kiss it and lick it and then Allah will forgive our sin. How that can be? Yeah, Christian Prince, yeah, and you, you are not being honest in the least. And you're, you are full my friend, people. I am not being honest. Expose me. Aren't you the one who said to me in the beginning when you call me, you said you want to expose me? Are you in this ability now? Everybody is watching and listening. How Allah, He have word, and His word is part of His knowledge. And His knowledge, you are saying to me, is not going to be eternal. It is not eternal. Are you saying I to me? I did not say that his knowledge is not eternal. You, you said, said the word. You said his word is not eternal. If you say his you word right. is not eternal, his word is of his knowledge. His no. word is his knowledge. How you know the knowledge I of God, my friend? How you know? How we know eternal. if God is not? Oh, listen, listen. You see, eternal. you see, you Muslims, you have a foolishness. You don't understand what you are saying when you say that Allah word will not be eternal. That the word of Allah is his knowledge. So Allah without his word. Which for us does not exist but because how we know about Allah, how you know about Allah how you know about Allah you know him by his word is that correct I know by Allah through his signs sign what sign what sign what sign Allah never have a sign Allah never have a sign what kind of sign Allah, the sign is, is that the black stone is that the black stone no, it's the sun the moon the earth you what, what does have to do with Allah those are exist those are you know uh, exist before Islam long time ago what does that mean I mean this is this is silly Prove to me that Allah is the one who created the sun. Okay, let me ask you. As long as you mention the sun, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're a prophet, he said to Abu Dhir, do you know where the sun goes? He said, I don't know. Allah and his prophet knows best. So the prophet, he said, the sun goes every day under the throne of Allah. How yes, you're a prophet. The throne of Allah. Thank you. So how, how you're a prophet speaking the truth, but yet he says such a silly thing that the, that the sun disappear every day and move from point A to point B, explaining the sunset. Which is absolutely he false. That, no, he said that the sun prostrates under the throne of Allah. It goes, my friend. Don't lie. I can. I will show the hadith in front of your eyes. Don't lie. Don't lie, my friend. It's, it's a shame. People will laugh at you. You see, I show everything we talk about in the screen. Maybe you don't have it. It doesn't matter. So I'm, I'm just warning you. I'm just warning you. Don't lie because people they will read it. Everything I say. Is, there is only one hadith for every there's one narration for every hadith my friend my friend sahih al-bukhari once i was with the prophet of allah in the mosque at the time of the sunset the prophet said oh abu dhar do you know where the sun set so your prophet is speaking specifically about certain thing which is is the, do you know where the sun where the sun set I mean, look at the question. The question alone is a disaster. Do you know? Do you know where the sun set? Do you, can you explain to me why he's saying that? Do you know where the sun set? It sets, it sets, and then it prostrates under the throne of Allah. Uh, mm. It prostrates un, uh, under the, the throne of Allah. This is how I remember the hadith. Mm -hmm. So you agree with your prophet that the sun goes every day and travel 
And then it is yes. Uh, yes, but this is against science. That's mean you're, you're why, why against science. Why is it against science? Because the sun does not go anywhere. You know, when we have the sunset, it's the earth going around itself. The sun is not moving. I accept that, but it doesn't mean that the sun doesn't yani, isn't apparently moving. My friend, your prophet is explaining where the sun goes. He said to him, Do you know where the sun set? Where the sun set, he's explaining the sun is, is, is time for the sunset. He's go he's going out of the mosque with Abu Dhar. So he said, and How is this related? Some way, how no, is this because, because you said to me, because you said to me that Allah have a knowledge and Muhammad he speak of his knowledge and Allah is more knowledgeable. That Allah is known through his signs, my friend. You, you, you are yes, a sign yes of Allah. You, you, you said that one of the signs of Allah is his sun and the moon, right? You are the one who mentioned that yes, to me because they are created. So, so how Allah he do not know how the sun goes, where the sun goes. <laughs> you are created and the sun is created. You see, you are, so you are, you are, you are running away now. Allah. You see, guys, he's talking about me. Are you created? Don't change the topic. How Allah He is yeah, the, I mean, how the sun, how the sun, how the sun, how the sun is one of the signs of Allah, yet he do not know where the sun goes. Because it is a sign of Allah because it is created, it has a beginning. My friend, this is another question. If he is the one this who made the sun, question. this is what I meant. If Allah, if Allah is the one who made the sun, he should know how the sun, what the sun do, where the sun, what, how, how, how the act of the sun, where the sun move. You don't say such a foolish thing. Even the Quran says that the sun sit in the murky water. How Allah can be, how the sun can be one of the signs of Allah, but yet he says the sun sit in murky water. What kind of God he say that? This is, this is, a, this is uh, the sunsets in mm -hmm. the sense that uh, it, it, it passes by the horizon of the Atlantic Ocean. This is what it means. Okay, so, so you are saying anyone understand that the sun sit in a murky water is lying. The Quran does not say that, correct? No, the Quran says No problem. So based on the Quran, does the sun sit in the murky water? Yes or no? The sun... Uh, just a second. Hmm. The sun sets in the murky water. Hmm. Just a second. The sun sets in the murky water. The sense that it passes through the horizon, goes into the Atlantic Ocean. This is how it sets. Hmm. And 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 Ibn Kathir when he did, when only he, in the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, so it's set in the Atlantic Ocean. You are saying the sun set in the Atlantic the Ocean. This point. Huh? When you look at it from uh, the west, my friend. So. I'm asking you a very simple question. Do the sun really go inside the water? Yes or no? No, the sun doesn't go inside the water. So, it's, it's, okay, it, it I want you I want you to say to me, I want you to, I want you to confirm to me that anyone believe that the sun sit inside the water is a stupid. Say it. What does it mean to say fi? Inside. It means that it doesn't mean inside. Fi it can mean ala, it can mean over. When you say Allah, uh, is sama, when you say Allah is in heaven, you don't mean that Allah is surrounded by the heavens. You mean that Allah is above the heavens. My friend, I will show you that you do not know Islam. Allah is inside the heaven, is surrounded by air, above him air, underneath of him air. And remind me after two minutes to go to that topic and prove it to you, to prove to you that you do not know about Islam. You claim to be a sheikh, but you are no one. Listen, listen, listen. Being, okay. Now, dishonest. so now you are saying that the Quran does not say the sun is in the water, correct? Uh, the Quran says that the, the, the sun sets in murky water in the sense that it passes by the horizon, as I said. So it passes by the horizon, guys. Did you see? Did you hear it? So this is the correct thing. Anyone who says something sets. else, okay, just confirm to me. If anyone, if anyone say the sun set inside the water, that means he's a stupid. Do you agree? Uh, the sun sets in, and this not is surrounded by the water. It cannot be surrounded by the, the water. My question is very simple. If somebody believes that the sun goes in the in inside the water, in the water, which means it's swimming inside the water, he is a stupid. Mm. Can you say that? Can you confirm? Yeah, and it depends his knowledge. He can be now today, he will be stupid, of course. Thank you very much. Guys, today he will be stupid very much. The one who said that is your prophet, my friend. And let me show you the hadith. You just said the one who says that must you be stupid. To, you have to my have friend, to my friend, my friend, don't tell me Arabic Arab hadith, Arabic, Arabic hadith. hadith. I'm showing, I'm showing. I'm showing both. I'm showing both. Here we go. This is your prophet saying that the sun set in uh, He said to him, Your prophet, I was sitting, Abu Dhar, he reported, I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, S A W S B M Mercedes Benz, who was riding a donkey while the sun was sitting. He asked, 
Do you know where the sun set? Who is talking, Muhammad? I replied, Allah, Allah and his apostle know best. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water. And you are the one who said to me, whoever believe in this is a stupid. I didn't say, it doesn't say that it is surrounded by the water. My friend is set in a spring of warm water. It's, it's a spring now. It's not an ocean. It is not even an ocean. You see, you are in a big, big trouble. You cannot deny it. It is in a spring of warm yeah, water. It's not, my friend, my friend, it's a spring. Black, uh, do you know Arabic? Black, uh, do you know Arabic? Uh, Abdul, listen, listen, uh, listen. Spring, spring of water. It's a spring. It's not even an ocean no more. There's no Atlantic. There's no Mediterranean I mean, Sea. There's friends, no Gulf. See, but you believe a second ago that whoever believe in this is a stupid. No, I said that if, it, if one claims that the, something surrounds the sun of the it earth. Says the surround, earth says, it says surround. He said it said it said in guys. Listen, I'm Abdul, don't waste my river. time. Don't waste my time. It says there in the front of you. It said in a spring okay, of warm can water. You, can, can you leave this and go to the to the crux of the matter? Because okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hold, hold on, hold on. What what is that? What is the other thing you said to me? Ah, about Allah is, is in the, uh, above the heaven. He is not in the heaven. Let me show you that you do not know anything about Islam. You claim to be a sheikh. You are no sheikh and you have no idea you are talking to who. You want to you want to expose a Christian prince. Let us see who's going to expose who. You're a prophet, he said, that Allah, in the top of him, there is air. Underneath of him is air. And you said to me, it's like saying that God is inside the heaven, I but the fact he's above the heaven. The it's recorded, my friend. It's, reco it's record. It is recorded. So Read with me. Read with me. The messenger of Allah, he said, where where was our lord before he created his creation he said he was above the cloud below which was air and above which was air and the water no, 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 no. Say, say the read the hadith in arabic okay let me read for you in arabic <laughs> no 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 okay let me read for you uh قلت يا رسول الله اين كان ربنا قبل أن يخلق خلقه قال كان في عماء ما تحته هواء وما فوقه هواء ثم خلق العرش على الماء The mic is yours Okay Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I don't know the, 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 the correctness of this hadith but I have heard it before I, if, if this hadith is, uh, is true I will, if this hadith is authentic I will accept it but it doesn't say that Allah is surrounded by air my friend it says, it says above, that, uh, what do you mean no, it's no, no, no. it says this above him explain. air it says Sinistry. above above him Sinistry. air my friend it says above I him I will teach you Sinistry. I will teach you yeah it's above him this air and I underneath of him is air what do you mean it's, 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 it's not saying that yes this is explained by the hadith Allahumma anta al-awwa wa anta al-zahiru fa laysa fawqaka shay You are above everything and nothing is above you This is the My friend, the hadith you are quoting for me, you are an ignorant The hadith you are quoting for me, it's about the power of Allah That nothing is above his power And you can go and read any interpretation for this hadith And you will see that you are fabricating, you are mudallis You are mudallis, you do not know Islam, you do not know Islam You are talking, you are talking to the one who, talk, who taught you the Prophet Islam Now listen, listen carefully let us go back to zero. So now Allah is inside the heaven. And you know, do you, do you know the hadith where your God, he says that Allah, he come down every night at the third part of the night? Do you know it? Yes. yes. Okay. How Allah, he go inside the heaven, but he is, he is not in the heaven. It's always above his throne. Abdul, what above his yes. throne? is If he is coming every day, every yes. night at the third part of the night, do you want to listen or do you want to just interrupt me? My friend, I am I'm talking to you. You don't don't be upset. We are talking together. You see, this is the nice thing about this that we are not <laughs> read with me, read with me, read with me. Sahih Muslim, our Lord, the blessed and the exalted, descended every night. Descended. Do you see the word descended? Yes, I accept okay. Allah how Allah descended, but yet he is not inside his descendant. How he is descended yes. to the ground or to the heaven, but he is not inside the heaven. Explain to us. Are you claiming that everything that descends has to leave its place? Well, the Quran confirmed that. Isn't it your God? He said in the Quran, after he finished the creation, he went up to the sky. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ثم استوى على العرش. Yes. He, yes. He so he, on the so he was not in the throne. So Allah, your God, he had to step down from the stone, from the throne in order to finish his creation, correct? Well, he doesn't go underneath the throne, but my friend, the, my friend, the okay, this guy, he, he did not go underneath, uh, prove it, he did not go underneath the throne, prove it. 
You see, you are quoting for me something that has nothing to do with the topic. The Qahir is the one have a power. Don't be stupid. It's about the power. Abdul, Abdul, let me get you busted. Let me get you busted. Does the hadith in front of us say that he go down all every night and he go down to the lowest heaven? Descend to the lowest heaven. How many heaven there is? Seven. Seven heaven. So the lowest heaven is what? That means Allah is this, under is under already under six heavens. No, no, this is wrong. What wrong? If he is descending, yes. Allah is descending from the heaven, from the se, from the seven heaven. Listen, Abdul, listen, listen, Abdul, Abdul Sheikh, Sheikh Muhammad, Sheikh Muhammad, listen. Allah, he is where? Allah is above the seven heaven, correct? Let us just take step by step. Allah is above the seven heaven. Do you agree? I, I have the right to ask you. You've, you're asking me too much. My friend, my friend, you, I, I'm done with you. You see, you said to me you are a sheikh. You said to me you want to expose me. You said to me you are a hero. It turned to be you are a potato and you are no one. And you do not know your religion. And you do not know your Quran. And you do not know anything about Islam. And you don't worship one God. And you and you consider Christian the black stone as an act of worship. And you consider the Quran as a divine, but yet it was going to, to it's not eternal. And you consider the Quran to be the word of God. It's attribute of God, and yet it's not eternal. You are a stupid. You are a fool. Don't ever dare to say I can challenge you, Christian Prince. You cannot challenge me. One person. Now answer. How Allah explain to me? Don't change the topic. How Allah is in the seventh heaven, yet He is going to descend into the lowest heaven without being inside it. Explain to us. Do you claim that for a thing to descend, it must leave its place? So you God, are you saying to me, your God, Allah is lying to us? He said descend, but He don't leave His place. He descends really, he comes closer, but he is always above the throne. Guys, he coming closer. Who cares if it, okay? You are saying to me he's driving his car. Okay, guys, let us drive this. This is Allah. This is Allah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is Allah throne. Okay. And Allah throne, according to Mr. Muhammad, Sheikh Muhammad, is like an elevator. So he is not leaving his throne, and that supposedly make him not leaving his place. That is stupid, my friend. So if Allah the go down, it says the descend, it says the descend. No, 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 no. My friend, it says no, descend. Do you know what descend means? Descend means he draws closer to his creation. No, my friend, the he Arabic word is Yenizilu Rabbuna. Yenizilu. He go down. He Don't close. Okay, how he get a closer? Explain to us. How how Allah get a closer to us? But are you claiming that for a thing to descend, it must leave its place? I don't believe this. My friend, my friend, how I can go down without going down? It you says, it says, yen is zero, yen is zero. Do you want me to show you the dictionary, the Arabic dictionary, what yen zero mean? You, are not able to answer you see, it. you are not being a man. You are not being a man. What the word yen in the Arabic dictionary? Send. The word yen zil mean send? Yes, but without leaving his place. Abdul, the word yen zil means send. Descend. Descend. No, it's mean to go down. This is the English word. You could go down to make it more clear. I can show you the dictionary right now. So, when Allah He says in the in the Hadith according to your Prophet, He descend from the heaven number seven to this to the heaven number one. How does happen exactly? Explain to us. He draws closer. How he draws so while he is about to stone. How? But I can give you an example. Are you you are basically claiming that it is impossible for Allah to do that? Well, you see, it's impossible for Allah to be Allah because if Allah wanna be close to us, why He descend anyway? I don't see how it is rationally impossible. My friend, fact, my friend, if, the, what is the purpose? What is the purpose of your God to go down every night? Can you explain to us in the, in the hadith? Why? To, to be closer to his servants who pray to Thank you very much. Him. To be closer so he can hear them. So Allah, he have a problem with hearing. Allah is not all hearing. Every night he come down in the lowest heaven so he can hear you when you talk. So you are saying to me as a Muslim, and your prophet confirmed that, that the reception, the antenna, the antenna of Allah does not receive the prayer of the Muslim. So he has to go down every night, every night. He has to get a closer, get a closer, get a closer, get a closer. So he can hear us. What kind of God? He cannot hear me from his heaven. I don't respect, I don't respect you, my friend. I don't respect you because you are lying. You are saying to me, I want you to swear by Allah. Right now, Truth. that the hadith Respectful. does not say that Allah go down. I want you to swear by Allah that the hadith doesn't say that Allah doesn't, doesn't go down. I swear by Allah that the hadith says that Allah comes down. I huh? swear by Allah. And I swear by Allah that... You, you say, guys, he just, he, just, he just confirmed. He said he swear by Allah that the hadith says come down. He said that. Yes. So you agree with me. So you agree with me. Allah come down. Yes. Thank you very much. So what the problem? Allah come down. How Allah is yes. almighty. How Allah is Almighty? 
how Allah is almighty, but yet he is inside his heaven and you must then reject him to be inside his creation. And then in order to hear me, he have to come down. Why he need to hear me by coming down? Can't he, can't he hear me from there? Can't he hear me? Can't Allah hear me from there? Allah can hear you from uh, from above. So why why this story, this drama is happening? Why Allah have to come down every third of the night to hear me? Why does Allah have to come here to kill Himself to in order to forgive? There's us? nowhere. There's nowhere in Christianity it says that God He have to come to kill Himself. That's a lie. Don't change the topic. What? We will talk about it. No problem. Kill him. Abdul, Abdul. No, He came. He came. The Jews they decide to kill Him. And your God, let me ask you, let me ask you, let, let, let me, let me, let, 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 let's change the topic. We can go there. Let's finish this one. So if Allah, if Allah, if Allah, listen, 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 my, my Lord, my Lord, Jesus, you must have you keep lying about Christianity saying that God came to kill himself. That is a big fat lie. There's no verse in the Bible. that says so. There's no place in the Bible that says God, God, he decided to kill himself. That is a stupid of you to say. God, he knew what people they would do. He knew they would, they are going to do harm for him. The Messiah, he told Peter, he told all the apostles, you will deny me tomorrow. You will betray me tomorrow. You will do this to me tomorrow. He knew the future. So he know your future. He know what will happen. He did not ask them to kill him. He did not call them. He say, hey, come and kill me. He did not make them think, think about killing him. This is their decision, but he knew the future. This is what Christianity is based on. So you fabricate lies about Jesus. Now we go back to the topic. What kind of God? He cannot hear me unless he go down every night. Why no, Jesus? Jesus in the Bible. Jesus in the Bible says, hold. So, 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 so. Jesus in the Bible said, hey, pray for me, I answer you. Knock at my door, I will open for you. It doesn't matter where you are. He said, every two of you mention my name, I will be between them. That is impossible unless he is the true God. How your God cannot be between us right now? Oh, listen, listen, listen. Based on the hadith, based on the hadith, your God, Allah cannot hear us right, right now, correct? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears us always. So what the hadith here is about? Then why he come down? It says he come down. He come down every third part of the night. Don't lie. Don't lie. The hadith says he come down every third part of the night so he can hear us. No, it yes, not so can he so he can hear us. Yanzuru Rabbuna ila samai dunya hina yabqa thunuthu layli lakhir. Fa yakulu hal min da'in fa astajiba lah. Hal min sa'in fa atiyahu. What does this mean? It means he comes down as an act of mercy. He, he comes down, down as an act of mercy. He can he cannot do that. He cannot do that. If okay, 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 okay. He cannot do that act of mercy when he is in his throne. But why why shouldn't he do that? That's mean he is not almighty because he cannot do it in his throne. So he have to come down. He's you know your God, your God. You, you Muslim, you lie to us. You say if Allah wants something to happen, he say B is going to be. But look, you have to take a taxi every day. And come down from point A to point B. I mean, I mean, uh, and listen, listen, listen. Let, let me ask. Let me ask you. How Allah? Allah will come down where? Where, where is the lowest heaven located? It is underneath the second, third, fourth, up to the seventh heaven. In order to believe in that, that's mean your God believe in the earth to be flat, because no, the earth is round. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Did he say the earth is round? Did he say that? But the Hadith says Allah come down every night in the third part of the night. Yes. Okay. Well, the third part of the night is twenty-four hours a day. It's because you, you are ignorant. You don't want to listen. My I want to explain. My friend, my friend, explain to me. Uh, you are the one saying yeah. that Allah come down. Yeah. Allah come down every day, yeah. every day in the third yeah. part of the night. Did you agree with that? When he descends, he does not descend by leaving his place. My friend, this is not the question. This is not the question, my friend. This is not the question, my friend. This is not the question. This is not the question. This is not the question. Abdul, listen carefully. Let's listen, Abdul. He leave his place, and we prove it because it says he descend. Stop lying. He descend. He descend. He descend. So stop lying. Huh? explain it. You did already. You did. Now answer me. How how Allah will descend down in the third part of the night when the earth is not a flat? The earth is not a flat. He descends in a relative manner. What relative As manner? What does that mean? It's, are, are you saying it's, it's fake? Is not real? It is real. Allah descends to this creation and not to that creation. My, my, my friend, is it is it real? Is it real or it's fake? Is it real or fake? A real descent, but he doesn't leave his place. He only draws closer. My friend, what do you mean? How he can draw closer if he is not moving his place? Not rationally impossible for a thing to draw closer. So why he is using? The so how he is using the word descend he can say a different word he can say i make you closer to me 
But he, he chose to say, listen, listen, listen. He, he, he chose to say, I descend. He did not just choose to say, I will make you closer. He said, Listen, Abdul, you are the one who don't know Arabic. Guys, in order for Allah, let, let, I'm showing on the screen how the Google, uh, how, how the earth is. This is the earth. So when you say, Yenziru, Yenziru, if we say this is Mecca, let us go here. This is Mecca here. This is Saudi Arabia. Muhammad is speaking in Saudi Arabia. Wonderful. Okay. So now Allah is where? Above the sky. Muhammad is speaking about his God as if he is above. So Allah is here. Okay. The throne. The throne. No problem. I'm going to draw a throne. It's very important to have a throne. I mean, God cannot be a God if there's no front throne. That would be a problem. So here we go. This is the throne of Allah, guys. Okay. Yeah, Adam, listen, listen. No, we don't believe in a throne as a physical throne. God do not need a physical throne. Listen to me here carefully. Listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. Listen, listen, listen. Here we go. This is the throne of Allah. And this is Muhammad here. So Allah is going to come down every third part of the night. Right? I can't believe in non-physical thrones. My friend, you believe you, you must then believe in a physical throne. You you must then believe in a physical throne is carried by eight animals. Eight angels. No, they are animals. They have faces of animals. Face of an eagle, face of a lion, face of a... Don't, don't fool me. You know, I know, more, I know more than you can imagine about your cult. Now, listen, listen. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. So Allah now is above the earth, right? How he can be above, how he can be above when the earth is round? He is above, because he is outside of the, uh, the heavens. What, else? what outside? Still, the earth... The earth is wrong. Like, my friend, my friend, he's above from which side? Allah will, uh, Allah will go down from which side of the earth? From here? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above. We direct our hands towards Allah above. It doesn't, يعني, the, the, يعني, it doesn't at all matter that the earth is spherical. What do you mean doesn't Allah matter? Let, let me ask you, let me ask you, let me ask you, let me ask you. Let me prove to you. Does the Quran say the earth is a flat? Yes or no? No. What if I show it to you? What you will do? Are, is a consensus do you do you promise do wrong. you promise to apologize i will not apologize. Uh, yani, uh, how, how can you show something which is a consensus among muslims the the, the all the Mus uh, as ibn Taymiyyah mentions and as ibn Hazm mentions there is a consensus what consensus what consensus i will show i will show you the interpretation i will show you the quran i will show you whatever you wish what do you want did allah that allah may you know listen listen i heard uh <clears throat> Uh, I heard the Muslim they say that Allah in the Quran he mentioned the earth is like a shape of an egg. Is that correct? I don't know. I know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that وكلن في فلك يسبحون. As Ibn Abbas just, uh, explained it, he hmm. said uh, uh, it's like um, it's spherical. He, he used the word which means it's spherical. What spherical? And that means it's swim. Yasbahun means it's swim. Yasbahun means it's swim. And that's something Muhammad he yes. took from the, from the pagan uh, uh, from the bacon Sabian, yes, you're, you're a prophet. He believed that every plant is taking a boat and a swim. This what if you follow yes, thank you very much. So now, does the does the earth there is the earth flat in the Quran? Yes or not? Oh. Read with me. The earth, the earth is spread out, but it is spherical. Read with me, please. But how is this Sanishway, Christian Prince? How Stanishway, is this Sanishway, Sanishway. Yeah, you, we are talking about Allah will descend. Uh, you see, a topic will lead to a topic. I have to prove you now. You are the one who said to me that Allah is one God and Muhammad, he don't speak of his own and everything is coming from Allah and Allah is the only one God and we worship one God. So look what happened now. You have a God who said the earth is a flat. The chapter 71, verse number 19. Is the word besought mean a flat carpet? Yes or no? It is explained by the other verse which says, Thank you very much. We go to Madal Arda. Madal Arda, he made it flat again. Yes, it is flat in a sense, but it is spherical too. What do you mean flat in the sense, but spherical too? How that can be? Either it's flat. Okay, let me let me prove to you that you are again lying to me. Is it is it your prophet who order you to face the Qibla, the Kaaba? Yes. Okay. How somebody live in America, he can face the Kaaba. The, uh, how is the Qibla? What is the Qibla? You, you define the Qibla. The direction of the Kaaba. Yes, but is it is it permissible to uh, what is the what is the what is the Qibla? The Kaaba is the place of the Kaaba. So what what is your question? How you can you how you can live in, in in America, and you can face the Kaaba. 
you direct your you direct in the you direct your face towards the direction of the car how you can direct your face and it's in the other side of the earth it's down the in order to do that you have to put your head in the toilet seat you are a you are you are, you are ignorant <laughs> You don't think straight, my friend. Let us see. We don't think straight. How you can face the qibla if the qibla is in the other side of the earth? You Muslims, you direct your face and you claim that you are facing the Kaaba when you pray in America or Australia or Europe. That is a joke. That's a stupid. You, there's no way you can face the Kaaba. Nobody can face the Kaaba. The, the only no, way, I mean, the I mean, only way for for you to do that, Abdul. The only way, the only way to do that, if you believe that the earth is above the heavens. Who is above the heaven? Allah is not above the heaven. Allah is not way anywhere. Allah is a joke. He is not exist, and I can prove it. What kind of God, my friend, my friend, my friend? You see, you keep jumping like a monkey from a topic to a topic. Allah is above the heaven. I explained to you. I showed you the hadith that Allah above Him air and underneath of Him air. My friend, don't hang up and don't run away, coward. You said you want to expose me. This video is in YouTube. People will laugh at you, claiming to be a sheikh from Saudi Arabia. When you do not know even to answer one question about I your religion. Say I'm from Saudi Arabia. Where are you from? Where are you from? Tell me, where are you from? I'm not going to tell you. Why not? It is none of your business. Ah, right? okay, okay. So, okay, so you are from the Middle East. Okay, now listen, listen, listen. We go back to zero. We go back to zero. This is what the Muslims are. All right? Now, you're a prophet. You're a prophet. When he was in Mecca, he was in Mecca. Uh, he claimed. Can I ask you a question? Because you haven't asked me a question. This, my this, no, this you, you are the one who asked me the question first. You forgot. It was your question who came to me. This is not fair. Do you believe in fairness? My friend, do I don't know. I don't believe in fairness. You are a Muslim. A Muslim don't believe in fairness. You're a prophet. He said. You're a prophet. He said, kill those who don't believe in Allah and the last month. This is not fair. You don't. You don't. You don't talk about killing me and raping my wives and taking my land and then you speak about fair. Shame on you. Who are you to speak about fair? You are the last one to speak about fair. You are a Muslim who believe in rape, who believe in killing, who believe in theft. You're a prophet. He said that even their kids is halal for you. Go and kill them. Your prophet is not a person who can teach fairness. Now, now answer, Blackstone Kisser, Mister Mister Blackstone Kisser. I really enjoy talking to you. Are you going to answer me or not about what we said? We are talking about the same topic for the last one hour at least. And then now you did not say, you did not give me the answer. Are you going to give me the answer or not? You have to give me 30 seconds to answer because you're not giving me any I'm time. giving you the last hour to talk. You said nothing. You said rubbish. Now, we go back to zero. Is the Quran. I want a confirmation from you. Is the Quran, which is an attribute of God, which is of the knowledge of God as you confirm to us. Is it going to be eternal or it is not it eternal? Possibly be eternal. The actions of God and his I'm not talking God. about the action. Stupid. Stop. Stop yes. being stupid. Stop being stupid. I'm not talking about the action. I'm talking about the word. The word is not an action. Don't be stupid. Action. The word. What is this? What do you mean by the word? This is the letter and the meaning. Give me. Give me a reference that the word of Allah is His action and it is not His knowledge. It is his how you it say to me, how you say to me, it is his knowledge, and you say to me, it is his action. How knowledge is an action? It, it is, it, it happens by his power and will. This is not the question. Speed. This is not the question. Is it an action or it is a knowledge? It is off. Is it, I already answered. I already answered. You, you, no, you know, you do not answer. My friend, let me teach you. Let me teach you. Let me teach you. Let me teach you. Allah subhanahu wa You are an ignorant in Arabic like your prophet who do not know how to quote a name correctly. What is Kalam? Kalam Lafdon Kalam So it is not an action. It's not an action. Listen, Abdul. I'm asking you, the, 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 let me the, let me rephrase the question for you because you must Muslim drink camel urine, you are so slow. The word of Allah, the word of Allah, I'm not talking about the action of Allah. Is that more clear? The word of Allah, which is not the action. Why is the word not an action? The Quran, all of it, the, the, Quran, the Quran of all of it is not action. All of the Quran is, is not. The Quran is, the Quran, my friend, is your God reporting a story. There's no action in it. It's a story to report. The Quran is a spoken words. It was spoken. It's a, it's a spoken story. There's no action there. When your prophet, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me teach you, let me teach you some intelligence. When your God Allah, He spoke about Adam to Muhammad, 
He was speaking at that. Listen, listen. When your God, when your God, he said to Muhammad that I say to the angels, I will create an inheritance, Khalifa. Hmm? Okay. Which, which, which some, some, some Muslims, they say it is Khalifa. You know, Khalifa or Khalifa, they don't know. Now, now listen, listen, listen. What, was it happening at that time when Allah, he said that to Muhammad in the Quran? Was it happening at that time or, or Allah reporting a story? Answer me, five, answer me five of my questions. My friend, you, you have them? no question. You are no one. You are a potato. You've been served and you've been cooked. Don't call me again. Next time, let your dad call me. Get, get lost. All right. <clears throat> Man. Brother. Why are you Muslim? Because the stone, brother. A brother, we don't kiss the stone uh, to worship it, a brother. Okay, why you kiss the stone, brother? Because it's holy, brother. Oh, the stone is a brother, is holy. Okay, why the stone is holy, brother? Because the prophet kissed the brother. Okay, uh, why the prophet kissed the stone, brother? Because it's holy, brother. Okay, and why it's holy, brother? Because the prophet kissed the brother. Uh, brother? Uh, what? Oh, oh. Why the prophet kissed the brother? Because it's holy brother. And why it's holy brother? Because the prophet kissed the brother. Hey brother, I'm really, really, really enjoying your intelligent brother. Let me introduce myself to you. I am a doctor, Dak and Naik. And I am very knowledgeable and I know everything. Just ask me any question and you will get the answer in the speed of light. First of all, this guy, his name is the Christian Prince, he has no idea what could happen. Secondly, Please open your umbrella because when I talk, a lot of rain is going to come. Thank you very much. Brother? Brother, why you are so smart, brother? Brother, is it going to happen in America, brother, that I will come find a Muslim, he's a smart Muslim, brother? Why is it impossible, brother, to find a Muslim, he uses his brain, brother? Hmm? Brother? Unbelievable. And what? They want to school us that we are the one who don't worship God. And they are the one who worship God. Nobody. The most stupid religion. Brother, we have a God, brother, who is up in heaven, brother. He come every day, brother, at the middle of the night, brother, and he move from point A to point, brother, and he say, who's going to worship me, brother? Hey, brother, I advise your God, brother, to change his plan, brother, because obviously he is using at and brother. Let me tell you, brother, if he use different frequency or network, brother, I think he will have a better reception all the way to the throne. God come every day in the third part of the night and say, who is worshipping me? What a silly question. And why he have to have to come down? Install a security camera. Open your screen. Go to Best Buy. Buy a TV, big TV. Huh? You can borrow money. The Jews will, you can borrow money from the Jews. Go and get a Visa or MasterCard and the Jews will give you money with a good interest, brother. And you can buy a big screen TV, brother, and you can watch this. The, the, and you can hear everybody, brother, is uh, praying for you. Oh, boy. No, no, my friend, I'm not doing comedy, but this is a stupid religion. What I can do? See, comedy is based on what? Based on somebody saying something is not expected. And what make it uninspected that this person he is, let us say, he have a special kind of intelligence. But Islam by itself is so stupid. It's beyond stupidity. Actually, the word stupidity is an insult to stupidity if we say Islam is stupid. I am afraid that the word stupidity will have a, is going to sue me. The word stupidity will go to the court of dictionary and says, "Brother, Mr. Judge, brother, this person, brother, he compare me to Islam, brother, and this is not fair, brother. 
Yes, there is a stupidity, but we are a lot smarter, brother. How anyone can believe in such a garbage? They brag about having a God. He is one God. He is above the heaven and the Quran and the prophet who is amazing. And then we would check Muhammad, the amazing prophet. He is a thief. He is a criminal. He is a killer. He is a cheater. He is a liar. He is even boogers. He collected. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He spit in his clothes. <laughs> Let us bring a uh, hijab to spit because he's a professional. There is a Muslim. <clears throat> he uh, uh, he post. Let me show you. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. He 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 have an imaginary debate. <clears throat> Let us go there. Imaginary debate. Let me go to the comments. <clears throat> I will put it for you on the screen. Where is the Abdul? <clears throat> I'm trying to find his comment. Okay. Here we go. Let us see. He made many posts. Hmm. Which one? Da, 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 da. Hmm. I can see his post. Anyway, this guy, he made an imaginary debate about the Trinity and the Tawheed, which Muslims, they believe it is the believing in the oneness of God. But as we prove to you in this debate, that the word Tawheed have nothing to do with oneness of God. It is the opposite. It is about unification. I'm trying to find it. Maybe he deleted this. Uh, I don't think he deleted Mm -hmm. hmm. I can't find it. But I saw it like uh, two hours ago, his, uh, his post. Too bad. <clears throat> so we can have fun. Anyway, so he, ha he have an imaginary debate between uh, uh, Hijab and uh, David Wood. And for sure, this is not this is nothing to do with the debate which happened for real. But the Muslims, they think <clears throat> we are upset because of that debate. The fact this debate is the best, and this guy hijab, he will never even dare to debate anyone after this because of what he said in that debate specifically. He did a lot of poo poo, amazing poo poo. Actually, he did beat his prophet in his poo poo. I thought Muhammad, nobody can beat him. And by the way, hijab, his last name, mean burqa. Hmm. Well, you should wear burqa from now on. I understand. Let me see. I don't know. Maybe maybe in this or different place with this guy, he posts this. Uh, let me go to community. Maybe we can find his... Uh... <clears throat> We can find his post. All right, here we go. We found it. Read with me the Abdul imaginary debate. Okay. Is the screen coming, guys? All right. 
David Wood vis a Muslim monotheism versus a Trinity Muslim who is God let us say this is a Christian friends forget about David Wood leave the guy alone Jesus Muslim is Jesus the son of Mary Christian yes Muslim who created Mary Abdul let me show you how stupid you are can you tell me why you are saying that Jesus is the son of Mary who is the Muslim can answer me and why the Quran say that Jesus is a son of Mary any Muslim can answer why everybody have a father but Jesus in the Quran have no father you just got yourself busted I challenge any Muslim to tell me if Jesus is not divine and he is not God why he is born from no man who is Mary who's who created Mary look at the question who created Mary but you don't want to tell us why Jesus is not the son of any man Jesus is born of Mary and he is not the son of Mary he is the son of Mary by birth but he is not from Mary even the Quran says that he is the Word of God which sent down best wood in Mary which mean Mary Mary is not the one who produced Jesus he is born of Mary even the Quran confirm that any Muslim can tell us why Jesus is not the son of any man Muslims cannot explain that because this is something they copy from Christianity and Muhammad being a fool he copied it without knowing how dangerous what he just copied he tried to de to, to, to deny that the, the uh, 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 the divine uh, nature of Jesus but by doing that you just approve it because who is the one who is my father guys isn't it the father of any one of us is the one who made our mother bread net is that correct the father of Muhammad is the one who stepped with his mother regardless who is he forget about marriage now I mean lit literally your father is the one who made your mother pregnant as simple as that regardless if she was married not married girlfriend boyfriend it doesn't matter so if mary she got a pregnant if we ask the muslims who is the one who made mary pregnant he will say god so who is the father of jesus <laughs> do you see how easy to get them busted those who they are asking where I am from my friend I'm black blonde African American from Japan I hope every citizenship and every nationality now feel better do you see how easy to prove that Jesus is God if the Muslim themselves agree that Jesus is born because God he is the one who made Mary bright net so who is the father of Jesus God this is how stupid Abdul are and this is why they don't dare to debate me if there is any Muslim in the bushes would like me to open sky for him so he would like to call me if there is any Abdul in the bushes mayday mayday Abdul is needed Abdul is needed any Abdul he think he just came from the gym and he think he is powerful he ate some vitamin he have a special diet and he feel like he is so strong he would like to call me any Abdul please hello hello no Abdul uh -huh. 
What happened? What happened? They are in vacation. Ah, today is Thursday. This is the night the Muslims they make babies. They are doing a lot of bang bang. Yeah, second day tomorrow is a, is off for them. So Thursday night they do the homework. They do, they can do it only once a week. Uh, Muhammad was not even able to do it once a year. So we don't have Abdul. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean everything have a reason. Everything have a reason. And the reason we cannot find a smart Abdul, I believe it is a godly reason, you know, because the second you follow the devil, you became stupid. You lose your mind. You become an Abdul. Do we have any Abdul? Any Abdul. We have a job opening. We have a job opening. No skills is required. The only skill is required to believe in Allah. And that automatically will make you Abdul. Hmm? Anyone? You will get paid by Allah. If you debate me, Abdul, you will get paid by Allah, and Allah will pay you a lot of versions. Brand new women. You know, brand new, brand new, brand new. I'm telling you, brand new. When I say brand new, it's mean that their panty never been taken off and the wax is still there. The only religion, the religion, which is still existent and now, I'm not sure if there's a religion believe in that, but let us say mostly the more popular, the most popular, believe that God is a vagina vendor is Islam. Mool Matt, are you a Muslim, my friend? Mr. Mool, are you a Muslim? Let me open my Skype just in case there's an Abdul when I call us. Because it's not going to be nice to ask the Abdul <coughs> to call. And yet, our Skype is not open. I mean, that's there's no point. Right? All right. Well, my Skype now is my Skype is open. Look like we have a Muslim here, but I don't know if he's online. Any Muslim would like to call us? <coughs> Hello, call my friend. Call the Abdul is trying to say call. <coughs> Look like we have Abdul. Bring your popcorn. Hello. Hello, how you doing, man? I'm fine, my friend. How are you? I'm doing well. So, so I have some questions for you. Sure, you are a Muslim first, right? Yes. What What Muslim mean? What do you mean? When you say a Muslim, what does that mean? No, no, <laughs> I have questions just for you. Just, no problem. Uh, you will ask me. We are having a conversation. What What Muslim mean? When you say a Muslim, what does that mean? You worship a Krishna. You worship who? I worship God. Who is that? Allah. Who is Allah? Allah is only one. It doesn't matter if he is one or ten. Who is Allah? Allah is one. I didn't ask you how many he is. I asked you who is Allah. Come on, man. Just 
the thing is I want to answer like I my, want a question my friend, from you. my friend I'm asking you a very simple question It's just to know who are you before we start the conversation because I cannot answer you unless I know your background You said to me you worship a God. I said you said to you who you said to me Allah I said to you who is Allah you said to me he's one did I ask you how many he is? Okay, okay, who's Allah? Allah is a God is a God It's only one God Allah is okay. only one who God. is Allah still this is not the question Who is Allah? You, you, you are telling me he's his God, right? Okay, this this is his job. I'm not asking you that. Ask him, who is he? Do you know who is Allah? Yes. Who? He's someone that we worship. We worship. Okay, but who is he? I'm not asking you if you worship him or not. I'm asking you, who is he? Why? Why do you need to? Like, why? Why? I mean, you are worshiping him all your life. You do not know even who is you are worshiping. Who okay, you are worshiping on. who? Who is Allah? Let me asking you, who is your God? Jesus the Christ. Okay, Jesus Christ, who is he? He is the one who came down to earth and he made a lot of miracles. He made the blind, okay. he made the blind so, see. So, okay, okay, people. So. Let me answer you. Let me ask me the question. See, okay. the, yeah, 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 how yeah, we yeah, can give on, answer. Keep on, keep on. So he is the one, he is the one who came down to earth, he healed the leper, he made the blind see, he he, he, okay. you know, he created from the mud the bird, as the Quran says, and he you know he resurrects people from death and he forgives sin and he is going to come back and he is going to save the whole mankind. This is my God, who's your God? Okay, okay, that right. Okay, who created uh, Jesus then? Nobody. Nobody. Okay, yes. so nobody created Jesus. Mm. So, so do you believe that Jesus? He's only one. So he's only one God, eh? Yeah, we believe in one God. We don't believe in three gods. Okay, so do you believe that Jesus is a prophet? No, but in the so, same time, yes. Okay, no and yes. To, Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. You said no, no and yes. Yeah, no and yes, because you see, when you say a prophet. People they would think is someone who make a prophecy, but the fact prophet of the people who they speak in the earth, they speak about the man who prophesy, right? But the real the truth is the only prophet is God. Okay. Because the only one who gave a real prophecy is God. All the prophets they prophesy to us what God told them of a prophecy, which means God said to them to say something, so they say that. Okay. But Jesus, in the case of Jesus, the Quran says. That Jesus, when he is born in the cradle, he was speaking about himself that he is the word of God. That's okay. mean, but Muhammad, as you know, he waited mm -hmm. for 40 years until a guy, his name is Jibreel, he came okay, and, yeah. he, and he squeezed him three times, and mm -hmm. no ketchup came out. And still, Muhammad, he don't understand what's happening. <laughs> okay. but, but Jesus, in the cradle, he is speaking wisdom. The word of God is talking by itself, which means Jesus himself is the word of God. So he is a prophet and he is God in the same time for the prophecy is coming from the true God himself He is not a speaking. He is not a speaking Something someone said this is his own word. This is why he say it's been said to you, but I say to you Okay, okay now I, we go back to so, zero. Who is your God? My God is one we cannot see him because you know human I cannot see the God that we worship This is not the question. Who is your God? My God is one I'm not asking you how many he is, guy. My guys, did I ask uh, this gentleman how many your God is? I mean, you keep repeating the word one, one, one. one. I don't know what's what. Uh, you, you are stuck with the word one. Or what you know that your God is one? Okay, I know yeah. someone his God is two. Not nice to meet you. So, okay, well, what does that mean? I'm asking you who is your God? Who is your God? Give me, give me the. My God is Allah. That's it. Okay, who is Allah? We go, we go say to me, he's one. Okay, who is one? He's Allah. Okay, I mean. My friend, Allah, who is, Allah is the one who created all of us. Muhammad, you are very funny. Who is Allah, the Creator? Oh, Muhammad. My name is not even Muhammad. So, what's your name? Abdul Salam. Ab, yeah, yeah, Ab, Abdul Salam. Zayak, yeah, Abdul Salam. Yeah, Abdul Salam, Zayak. Okay, Isma. As long as you said Allah is the Creator, right? Okay, yeah, He is the Creator. Okay, but the Quran says He created the heaven and the earth. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Hold on, hold on. But the Quran says that Allah is the best of the creators, which means there's many creators. Can you pull up that chapter that says that or whatever, like that verse? Well, I need to call a friend to find the verse. I heard it before. You called a friend, but you should know that. In so how would you consider that a Quran is a false if you don't know the full meaning of the Quran? Well, I have to ask some friends to help me. Do you expect me to know everything? So, no, 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 no. Like if people usually like finish the quran mm. then then like uh, judge based on it oh. you don't know like you have to ask friends you should like look upon it not 
mm. ask people because mm-hmm. you know some people can give you false uh, uh, they can give you false things you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. yeah think, that's what i'm trying to say you know? so you are saying that this friend who told me that there's many creators I, I, he's listen, lying he's i lying. can i cannot say that he is wrong because i'm not i'm not sure because mm. i don't know the person i don't even know who is the person you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. okay well you know yeah, so give me let, like, me let me let me grab my phone i will call him just wait hold on please because this guy he worked for me 24 hours seven days a week you know i i i pay him actually hold on yeah what his phone number zero 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 okay he just told me that this is a chapter 23 verse number 14 in the quran okay one sec i'm gonna like one sec Hmm. what was it again Uh, let me ask him again Chapter 23, verse number 14 in the Quran. First verse what? My friend, chapter 23. Okay, let me say it slow. 23, verse 14. Okay. All right, sure. Yeah, yeah. One sec. Hmm. You want to call my you want to call a friend my friend no 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 no. because no, we, ha- we no. believe in equal opportunity you can call a friend the same as i call a friend you know i mean no okay. just uh i didn't hear like to argue stuff i just want to like prove something like uh oh, right. like okay. yeah, the so, main thing so i called you, you was so just did, to so did, like so did you see i wanted it, to oh, my friend did you see the verse? about like who's okay did yeah, you see yeah, the verse like, okay did you see the verse yeah uh, i didn't actually see it but anyways okay it says in front of you let me read for you let me read for you it says did you okay it says then fashioned with the drop uh, the drop a, uh, a clot then fashioned okay. we the clot a little loom then fashioned we the little loom bones then closed the bones with the flesh and then produced it as another creation so blessed be allah the best of the creators mm. Mm. you told me you told me okay listen i'm mm. not expert but maybe you know i'm my point was just to okay let me let me call an expert to help you guys he is not an expert i'm going to call dr zakir naik zakir naik is with us on the line <laughs> hold on my friend he is here he's here with you he's going to help you assalamu alaikum brother get the brother uh can you explain to us why the quran says allah is the best of the creator we have a brother here his name is abu salam and he have no idea what that means can you explain to him Brother, brother and sister, as an example, there is many creators according to the Quran. As an example, the Quran said that Jesus he can create for you from the mud bird. He fattened the mud and he breathed into the mud, and the bird will do like cuckoo cuckoo. He will be a living bird. <laughs> that means that there is many creator, brother. So now we have two creators. We have a creator, Allah, and we have a creator is Jesus. Abdus Salam, what do you think, my friend, with the answer of Zakir Naik? Okay, listen. Okay, one sec. Just give me one minute. Mm. <clears throat> okay. So, you know, in the... Uh... Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Come on. Come on. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay, listen. Anyways. Uh-uh. Yo. Uh-huh, yeah. We're trying to be. We, we, there's no joke here. I'm trying okay, to be this serious. This is a joke. Here, you, know? you have no idea what are you talking about, my friend. You are calling me to question me, but you do not even know. You don't even know who you are. Listen, about. I didn't call you. Don't you, believe, to you don't believe you in are. anything. Listen, you, you don't know what no, you are believing listen. in. You do not know who's Allah. So now answer me. How listen, the Quran? No, no, listen, how, listen, how the Quran? Listen, I want. Listen, I want, man. Yo, yo, listen. I didn't hear to Abu argue Salaam, or question Abu no Salaam. one. I'm Abu asking you. Like I had, I pull up something. I wanted like to from you to answer from the Bible. My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. First of all. I will answer you no problem don't hang up we, we have time no i won't i won't why okay, would i do okay. that i will tell you we have time we have time out. we have time. i won't just do but that first, first of all i want to see I, I, did i insult you did i say any bad word to you 
No, but okay, so you cannot. You have know, patience, okay, have one, patience, question, one thing. Have, have let me patience, just say one thing. Have, patience, have, have you have ever heard someone ins- insulting uh, uh, the Christianity? Have you ever, sh- uh, okay, a sheikh saying that or like or making fun of other uh, people? Okay. No, you don't hear that. Why okay, you hold on, hold on, hold on. That's like disrespectful, my, man. Come my, on, my friend. Okay, you are right. You are. This is very, very bad of me. Let me apologize. So, are you saying the one who insult the Christians, he is a bad person? What? If Can somebody, if somebody insult the Christians, that's mean he cannot be a good Muslim. He is a bad. He can be. He could be a good Muslim, but it's not good to do that. It's ah, a sin. So you can insult someone's religion. Oh, that's it's a sin. sin. So it's a sin. So what about your prophet? When he insulted the Christian, he was a bad person. Where does that say? Ah, you do not know. Okay, here we go. Like I said, I'm not an expert. Mm. Let us see. Do you see the hadith in front of you? It says, Allah Messenger, he said, Allah cursed the Jews and the Christians. Do you see okay. it? Okay. Okay. Why your prophet is saying, uh, if I say to you, may Allah curse you right now, we will say I am a bad Christian, correct? Listen, maybe the people who, maybe that topic is talking about something else, you know? Mm-hmm. Maybe no, it's not no, like no, relating no, to no, all no. Jews. This is, and, okay. this is, no, the Quran is insulting us all over. The Quran say we are the worst of the creatures. The Quran says that we are najis, we are dirty. The Quran says that we, uh, 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 we are equal to animals. The Quran says we are monkeys and apes. So what do you mean? Maybe, maybe. Okay. Okay. So okay. In, 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 instead of scolding me about a good behavior and how to respect, what about you ask your prophet to behave and ask him well, how you can be a prophet, but yet you talk like this? <laughs> Listen. I'm listening, my friend. Answer me. How how your prophet, how your prophet, he say that if he is a good man. And you are the one who say <laughs> this is sin. Maybe that point, that topic is talking about something else. You, ah, the thing is, <laughs> something else. Okay, let me ask. Let me ask you. Do, uh, do you have education? Do you have education? Like education on what? Like, uh, on, did you go to school? Yeah, I went to. Uh, yeah, I'm taking something like I'm not taking like Islamic courses, but I'm learning the Islam. Mm. But no, do, I do, like, what is your education now? I mean, not not necessarily about Islam. Oh, I'm taking like a uh, uh, motive. What is that? <laughs> Automotive. Automotive. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So as long we are talking about automotive, do you know that Allah is the first one who created automotive? What are you talking about? Well, because Allah, he gave you an automotivation which make you go and fight and do jihad for you. Jihad for him. As an example, he will give you in the heaven and in this penis, and this is auto, and the vagina is going to be so big for the auto motive. So now we have an automotive. We have an endless vagina and we have an endless penis. And then we have 80,000 women waiting for you. So what do you think about a God? He promised you a lot of women for sex. I mean, what the point? Mm. Okay. What do you think? What do you know? I mean, you are an educated person. You go to school, not like me. I, the only... The only degree I have is my driving license, to be honest with you. So you as an educated person, what do you think about God? He promised me 80,000 women and 80,000 child for sex. I'm not sure about that. <clears throat> okay. Mm. All right. Okay. You know what? No, this, uh, no I do not know. Uh, do you know? What's it called? There, before I like came up on this, mm. I wrote like uh, something that I wanted to ask you. Mm. Now, like we didn't talk about, like who's that, 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 mm. you know. Mm. So, I have like one thing to say. Like I have things to say. Like I wanted to ask you not to argue and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Okay, go ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm going anyway, to listen. Anyway, give, give me, know, give me, anyway. a, give me your question. No problem. Go ahead. Okay, you know, explain John 17. You can read for me John 17. What about it? It says Jesus said, "Do not hold on to me, mm. for I have not acceded to the Father. Go instead to my." To my brothers and tell them I am acceded to my father and your father to my God and to your God. What does that mean? Okay. Well, we believe in the Trinity. You know what does the Trinity mean? What does that mean? Okay. The Trinity means that there is the Father and there is the Son, and the Son is total obedience to the Father. So simply when the Messiah speaks about my God and your God, he is speaking about the Father. 
As simple as that. The father? the father is our God in heaven. Okay. Then who is a free? Who is a free from the body of a man? So okay. when we speak about the Trinity, the Trinity to to make it very simple for you, it is explained in the Quran. If we go in the Quran in chapter four, verse one one seventy one, it says that there is three. Always there is a three. Three if what? Three. Everything is made from a three, and when we talk about the three here, when we say everything, we are talking about everything. Even like water is made of three. Even you is made of a three. Even uh, even even, mean, even religion of Islam is based on the three. You know, Allah and Jibreel and Muhammad. Okay, hold on, hold on, my friend, hold on. Just uh, ask me a question yeah. and explain to you, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's so, just explain your question, really. Okay. Uh, All right. Let's, if we go in the Quran, okay, you will see. That uh, Allah He sent to Mary a word. Do you agree? Oh, what? Allah He sent to Mary a word. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That word became a man. His name is Isa. Okay. Okay. And that Isa, he has a spirit. Okay. Okay. Let me ask you, when Isa was in the earth, he was a spirit or he was a, a man or he was a word? He, he was a man. He was a man, so he was not a spirit? That's a tough, I don't know, to be honest. Like, I, he's just um, like a prophet. That's okay. what we but like. I'm not think asking you what he do for a living. This is not the question. Mm. I'm asking What's up? when the nature, what? the nature of this person, who his name is Isa in the Quran. When okay. Allah he sent, if, if read with me in the screen, I don't know if you can see my screen. Can you see it? No, I can see. Uh, I, yeah, I'm using a phone, anyways. Okay. Well, it says, "O oh, people of the book, commit no execution in religion, nor say of Allah aught but the truth." Christ Jesus, the Son of Mary, uh, was, and then between two brackets, no more than. A messenger of Allah and he is his word which bestowed in Mary okay okay so is it possible for someone to be three in the same time or it's not possible it can it's not possible okay how Jesus then became a three in the same time he is Jesus like because, he is because only my friend one. Let, let, let us count together what the Quran is saying he says that Jesus the Messiah he is a man but before he was a man he was the Word of God so the Word of God came to us as a man as a messenger okay, okay? in the same time this word this word on Mary which means it's coming from heaven this word is not from earth this word is not from the North Pole this one is not coming from Saudi Arabia this word is coming from God and spirit proceeding from him him who him God so Jesus is the word of God Jesus is the man of God Jesus is the spirit of God how Jesus is a three but yet he is one as Jesus hmm. and notice I'm, I'm reading the Quran for you I'm not reading the, the Bible for you yeah okay okay so christianity simply muhammad is trying to copy christianity here he copy from the bible in chapter john john chapter one verse number one the word of god in christianity is god himself the word of god came to us as a man the word of god present itself in invisible way between us as a spirit so God is a three but yet is one okay so the Quran itself explained Trinity but by the way the same verse in the Quran it says say no Trinity because the, the author of the Quran is not really a smart person he said say no Trinity but he proved the Trinity for us in the same verse okay so now we have a problem your God Allah is not smart enough he said to us, say no Trinity, but he proved the Trinity. Okay. So what we will do? What do you think? 
That's a man. That's a tough question because I told you, you know, I'm not an expert. Okay, my man. What about as long this is what the Quran is saying and the Quran look like it's funny and say stupid things? Listen, with respect if, to you. if I had a lot of knowledge, I would have backed it up. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But maybe it's like it's like beyond my limit. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah, if I had a lot of knowledge, I would have like you know mm. said something about it. Yeah. Well. I understand, my friend. That's I, a, yeah, that's the that's the that's the first question. Okay. Okay, my friend. I, I want to like no no like you know now you know what I'm saying I want to know what you yeah. think be, like be, the be, chapter my, that my I friend let me let me advise you something but be, let me advise something. Uh, I understand that uh, things in the Bible might be confusing to you. That's because you did not read the whole Bible. You are just quoting a verse somebody told you. Did you read the Bible? No, but I looked at See? it. No. You did not read it. This is why you quote from Islamic website and they say, See, Jesus said, My God. So, how is God? No, I looked okay. at it by my if, friend. If, if I want to go, if I want to go by the same logic, my friend, I did not look it up from the internet. <laughs> no, my I friend, there is it. no way, there is no way you found it yourself if you did not read the Bible. There is no my way. My friend has it. He's there is no him. way, there is no way you opened the Bible and this is the only verse you found. <laughs> okay, man. Okay, I don't okay. want to argue. Man. Let me ask you, let me ask you. When God, have you ever heard, do you, did you make any speech one day, like in a school or something? Did you make a speech? Of what? Like you know, like go to, go to school. Like you make a speech presentation. Do, yeah. When you make a presentation, do you say in the name of Abdus Salam or you say I am Abdus Salam? I am Abdus Salam. Yeah, I, I lost your voice, my friend. Are you there? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what happened. Get it close, please, to the mic. What's up? Okay. So you say you don't say in the name of Abdul Salam. You say I am Abdul Salam. Okay. How Allah is God? You see, Muslim, you don't believe in a Trinity. You believe in Allah, and you told me He's one, right? Okay. So how you don't believe in Trinity, but in the same time Allah keeps saying in the name of Allah. Abi, isn't it weird to say in the name of Allah mm. if He is Allah? Okay. How you say that? Yeah. Shit, yeah. So, yeah, did you say shit? Not me. Okay, I understand. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm not going to, uh, but this is really shit. I agree. Excuse me. You are the one who said shit. No, like, so I mean, like, how Allah, yeah, you know, no, I understand. You are you, actually, you choose a perfect word for it. I mean, this is absolutely the perfect description. You said shit. So, how Allah okay. say, how Allah is the one is talking, and then he say in the name of Allah. Obviously, there is something fishy here, or either someone he was making Quran lying to us, saying that this is the word of God, but he forgot to switch between the first person and the second person, or Allah he is one of many Allah, or maybe there is ranks of Allah, like this Allah, he is a sergeant Allah, and there is a captain Allah, and there is a general Allah. Otherwise, we need somebody to explain to us how Allah say in the name of Allah. Yeah, man. What do you think? And then Allah, He says, continue. He says, praise be to Allah. Have you ever heard of somebody heard. saying praise be to Allah and He's Allah? Hmm. All right, man. Listen. Hmm? My point was, when I come on the Skype, hmm. I had like questions to ask. Yeah. But I didn't ask you like to ask me like questions from the Quran. I will to ask you questions from the you know. It's not about you ask me to ask you, and I will ask you to ask me. However, if you ask me to ask you, or you are not ask me to ask you, or I ask you to ask me, we're not to change that you would ask me and you ask you is not going to be answered because you what you know about what you, I'm asking you, you know nothing about it, and whatever you ask me, I can answer you regardless what you are asking. So you ask me or you don't ask me doesn't make any difference, my friend, because it's the question is not really even smart. You did not even read the Bible. You do not know what the Christians believe, and yet you want to ask me questions. No problem. That's but it. when I ask I... you something basic about your religion, you have no idea, and you say shit. Okay. <clears throat> so, my friend, how Allah is God, and He say it is He who created for you the earth and the heaven. It is He who. <clears throat> if Jesus said, if Jesus said. It is he who created to you the earth and the heaven. You call me, you will say, Hey, Christian Prince. <laughs> Jesus said, It is he. <laughs> who is he? If Jesus well, is the creator, well, this, well, like, this, like, 
like the Jesus say I'm God or like the Jesus say like something like yeah for instance, all, that all over that. the Bible my friend every time Jesus says I am because do you know what the name of God in Christianity no I am what is that? I am I am when Moses, I am? Well, yes I am which means the one who is exist by himself so when Moses okay. when Moses he met with uh, uh, he uh, he spoke with God uh, mm. Moses he asked God what I will tell my people what's your name who, okay, who? so as a meaning like like the meaning like when saying son of God the meaning what does that mean the son of God simply is the man who came to us on earth but he is at the same time he is God as a man he's not really is not a, like you see the, the Muslims they have an idea when we say son of God that's mean God he had sex with Mary and they have a baby his name is Jesus we don't believe you don't in have that. that man you don't do that man no you don't don't say no, that. no 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 not, no not, no not, no not, you listen, do no you don't you don't you don't no no you don't you don't you don't you know the Quran listen, says the Quran says you don't know what's going on in the mosque you can't just assume my friend what one I am person the one, says I am the one who can teach you in the mosque don't tell me you do not know if you go to chapter five, okay. If you, if you know, go, listen, my friend, listen, my friend, no, no. If you if go you to know, chapter why, five, why did you ask someone then? Why did you ask someone? No, no, no. Listen, why did you ask someone then? If you know the Quran or the, or the Muslim, why do you ask someone? Why don't you just find it out by yourself? I you mean, when you when you we spoke before, I told you I would call a friend. No, like, yeah, yeah, but that friend, if that you, friend, is, that friend was me. I have, sense, I have, eh? I have the verse in the screen. The second I was saying to you, should I call a friend? I will have the screen. You can watch the video later. You will see I have the verse in the front of you on the screen. I was joking with you, my friend. And this is the Quran. You will see. So, you, you will see so listen, listen. My friend, so, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, okay. hold on. You, the Quran says, and behold, Allah will say, O oh, Jesus, the son of Mary, didst thou say unto men, worship me and my mother as gods? So what the Quran teaching that we Christians believe that God have sex with Mary and then they have a son his name is Jesus and that is very stupid because no Christian who said that? that who Quran, said the Quran, that he will go the Quran saying that Jesus says my so what Jesus is saying now here in the Quran according to your Quran Allah is asking him Jesus question him Jesus did you say to worship you and your mother Mary as God beside me and Jesus said no we did not do that in the Quran in different verse your God he says the following <clears throat> how Allah can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend oh hold on let me call a friend so we can find the verse let me call <laughs> it. zero 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 okay a brother dr. Dekker Naik yet a brother a brother oh, oh, the Quran says that in chapter 6 verse 101 Okay, we that, get it. We get it. You don't have to make that shit. Okay, man. my friend, my friend, hold on because Zachary Naik is the best to explain the Quran to you. Okay, 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 we get it, man. <laughs> you get it. So, your your God says, oh God. <clears throat> your God says, to him is due the permal origin of the heaven and the earth. How can okay. he? How can he have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? Ha ha ha! Look how smart your God, man. Unbelievable. Your God is saying, not me. How, how can he? And again, he say he. Look, look, look. Allah is asking, asking, how can he? I mean, isn't it God is talking now? Yes. So why he keeps saying how can he? Now, how can he have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? Answer me, my brother. How Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? There's no way, correct? Do you agree with that? What do you mean? Do you agree with this verse? Allah is saying, how can he have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? Listen, Allah can do whatever He wants. No, He cannot. It says here, how can He have a son if He don't have a girlfriend? He cannot. The second, it's it's your God who's saying, how can He? Who is the one saying, how can He? Allah. I think you're trying so hard to convince me to Christianity. But it's not gonna. Work I, I did not invite you to Christianity, guys. Did I invite you to Christianity? I didn't invite. I, you didn't. But I, listen, uh, uh, by the way you're talking, look like look you're... like inside you, inside you. <laughs> now the, you no, found. No, the, okay, look what happened. You, by the way you're talking, you're trying to convince. Guys, look what happened. Happen. Look listen, what happened. I'm reading because every time I try to ask you, ask you like ask you some question from the Bible, you're trying to say, oh, you need to stop pulling up from the thing. But my friend. I'm reading your the, mind. Uh, my now. point was: listen, let, my let point me was, let me read your mind. 
you just convince yourself that Islam, as you the word I will use the word you use, not me. You said shit. You convince yourself that Islam is equal to shit, and now you are saying I to said yourself, shish. No, I you said shit. shit. No, 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 it's recorded. It's okay, okay, I said it. Okay, well, okay. okay. You, so you want to be happy? I, I was said reading it to you about it? Quran. You said shit, not me. So now let us. Okay, say. I said that. So okay. you, you, you got a problem with you, that? Okay, I said no, no, that. You I don't have a problem. No, absolutely, it's perfect. Okay, so. What's the point of saying that the again and again? Is, I said that you got a problem the, with that. The point is, you notice inside you that this is really shit, and this is why you said shit. That's the point. And because okay. that, you said to All me, right. it looked like you are trying to convert me to Christianity, aren't you? Because you notice that I have no base. You, I mean you. You have no religion. You have no God. It's bullshit. Excuse my language. You, you think are, you are the you one think? who said that, not me. You, you are the one who said you were the word shit, not me. So you think. You are the one who used it. I mean, why? Why you say about the Quran? I was reading Quran for you, and you said shit. Why you said that? All right. You see what is the what is the like point of saying shit if you mean snow? You meant snow Just when it. you said shit. All right, man. Yeah. So okay, how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? Is is that a logic of God to talk? Why Allah is saying that? Don't you think this is stupid? <laughs> Listen. No, 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 think with me. Don't, don't worry. I'm not, I'm not putting you down, my friend. Trust me. I really, I'm try, I'm trying to help you. I'm not against you. you not... Listen. When I got in here first. Hmm. When you got here, when, when you got here, how long? Like when you? I, like what? When I was trying, like got on Skype, I wanted to ask you these questions oh. that I pull up from the, from the Bible. Hmm. I wanted to, you like to answer and you know, like explain it to me. What is the meaning of it? Mm. I didn't come here like to debate you, you know what I'm saying? I'm not debating you, my friend. Trust me, if I debate you, I will crush you in two seconds. You're no match for the debate. <sighs> Listen, I'm not debating. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to debate. I I'm said not I'm debating trying to like, you. explain I'm not, I'm you, explain the friend, things that are in the Bible, okay? I'm not debating you. If I sneeze, you will fly. I'm not debating you. I'm asking you a very simple question. <laughs> you are a man, you're a man, you're not a kid. Allah he says, How can he have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? How silly see, is that? See. How silly! What Allah mean when He say how He can have a son if He don't have a girlfriend? Do Allah think that in order to have a son He need to have a girlfriend? Not sure, man. Hmm? Listen. But listen, you keep saying to me, listen. You know, listen, to, man. To the point, I cannot. I can, Do you, I can you speak Arabic, right? I, I would try. Go ahead. I can you will try, right? Can, no, 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 no. Do you a, speak Arabic? I can call it. So friend. sometimes you know the translation could be like different meanings of it. So mm. you can you cannot assume that if that says it translated to English, it means uh, that thing. Okay, you know, it okay. could probably mean different things. No, you know, no problem. It's we can not go, really accurate. Okay, Abdul Salam, we can go to the Arabic. I will make you happy. Arabic is good. Okay, no, no, no. Even though no, if you no, translate, no. it doesn't okay, really okay. mean. Can you read for me? It's can the you, accurate. Can it doesn't you? No really problem. Mean, no problem. I want you to give me the translation upon your translation. You are the best. I'm listening. Chapter chapter six verse one oh one. Read it for me and translate, please. Go ahead. I don't have a device that I can do it. Okay, I will read it for you. I will do my best. Um, originally, I'm from I'm black, blonde, African American from Pakistan, so I know a little bit of Arabic. But the Osama, what you will order, and now you can't let her go. Let him take on the Translate. Are you going to say shit again? Why would I say that? Well, you you, you keep saying each time I read your Quran, you say shit. It's you, not me. Did I say that? I mean, I'm 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 like I'm I'm, I'm like wondering if you are going to say it too now. Allah even using the word sahiba. You know what sahiba means, right? Okay. Girlfriend, right? I mean, what kind of God is talking about having a girlfriend? Look like you Muslims have a girlfriend before any any Western people have a girlfriend. Allah himself is speaking about girlfriend. He did not even mention the word wife. Let's say, okay, what's up? So what's up? What kind of God he says, how I can have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? How Allah is almighty, he can do whatever he wish, but he yet he cannot have a son unless he go have sex. How you Muslim you say to us, Allah is not a man. But yet this is confirmed to us that he is the same as any man. Me, I mean myself, I can say that. This is accepted. If somebody asks me, okay, Christian Prince, do you have kids? I don't have. Okay. Why Christian Prince, you don't have kids? I would say, well, how I, how a Christian Prince, he can have kids when he doesn't have a girlfriend? 
That's logical, no problem. But we are talking about God. Why God, he says, how I can or he can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend. Don't you see there is something very wrong here? Okay. Hmm? What do you think? Hold on. I'm holding. <clears throat> so, okay, you know, um, mm -hmm. so the Father is God too, right? Oh, you see, you don't want to answer now. You are changing the topic. His father is God, too. Now, listen, no, I cannot answer no, that, my friend, that question, my friend, because I have the my friend, uh, my, friend, I, my, friend, my friend. We don't have the father is God, too, and the son is God, too, and the Holy Spirit is God, too. We have one God, God, okay. He came to us in a three person. I will give you an example. Have you ever heard of something it's called the sun? The sun, yeah, the sun, which we see in the in the, in the sky. Yeah. Usually in America, we see the sun in daytime. I don't know in the Middle East when you see it. When you see it, usually. I'm not in the Middle East, by the way. Oh, okay. So what do you? What time you see the sun usually? Now it's like around one a.m. Oh, so in a few hours you will see the sun. All right. So when the sun is in the sky, and then oh. we have a light. It's called the light of the sun. Is that true? True. Okay. And the light come to us. Is that correct? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Is the sun still there, or the sun is coming to us? The sun, the sun is there, but it's coming to us. It's not. It's coming to us too. How it's coming to us too? As a light. Like right? the light. Okay. The light. Yeah, okay. As a light. Yeah. Okay. Thank now, you. As a... Okay. Thank you. So now we have the sun as a star, and then we have the light coming to us. The light is something we can see, but when the light hit us, we feel heat. Is that correct? Yeah. But we don't see it. No. That's exactly what God is saying to us. The Father is the same as the sun in the sky, and the light is Jesus the Christ, the Word of God who came to us. And when we believe in Him, we have the heat, which is the faith. So Jesus the okay. Christ is the three in the same time, He is one. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, three in one. The sun, the light, the heat is one. If we say, can we say that the heat is not the heat of the sun? No, it's the heat of the sun, correct? Yep. Yeah. Is that correct? If I say that the heat is coming from the sun, is the sun? It is the sun. Can we, is it correct if we say the light of the sun is the sun? Yes, it is the sun. Can, is it correct to say the sun is the sun? Absolutely. So the sun is a three but one. Light and heat yeah. and star. So why it's hard for you to understand how we can be one? What? How it's hard to understand that the three is one. As you see, everything around you is a three. What is the water is made of? What is the world? Is, what did you say? Water, water, water. A drop of water, or let us say a particle of water, is made of a three, but it's one. H2O, correct? Okay. Okay, it's H2O. So why it's made of three? Water is the source of life. Everything in this life, even the Quran says, So the source of life, even that confirmed the Trinity. Why it is H2O? Why it's not H4O? Even the golden ratio, which is about the beauty, it's about one to two, which means three. Everything around you, my friend, proving God. God, he don't leave himself without witnesses the signature of God and everything is made around us created around us prove the Trinity okay so now we go back to zero how and why Allah he say he cannot have a son without having a girlfriend if he is really a God hmm. knowledge man i cannot uh, answer that eh all right all right well it's okay my friend Do I want me to lie about it i can't no, just no, lie no, about no. it you know what i'm saying no it's not it's not it's not about i know you are not lying my friend i can uh, yeah i don't know i don't know what i'm saying my friend i am really happy that you call me and i am not against you trust me 
Uh, Actually, uh, I will pray for you from my heart, and I ask all the Christians to pray for you. You sound like a very nice person from a good family, and you have a good heart, but you have no idea what you believe in, and you don't have an idea that Islam is nothing but a pagan, stupid religion. I'm learning. I will get there. You will get there, no problem. But uh, I con I confirm to you that Islam is a stupid religion. I have an offer for you. Do you know any sheikh around you? Do you know any sheikh? Any what? Sheikh, sheikh. Like Imam yeah. of a mosque. Okay. Can you do me a favor? Ask him. There's a guy. He claimed that nobody can debate him and nobody can confirm him that to be wrong. Tell him, can you call him, please? Because we are not able to answer him. We don't have the knowledge like him. What about that? And you sit next to him and let us see what your sheikh can do. If your sheikh cannot answer, that will make him very shaky. And then you leave Islam. If your sheikh can prove me wrong, it means I am the shaky and you stay as a Muslim. What do you think? We'll see about it. We'll yeah. see what the future comes. My friend, I, 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 I encourage you to do that. Because I want you to Listen, see, I want you to we'll see, see, I want you to feel better. Hold on, hold on, I want you really to feel better. It's not your fault you do not know. All the Muslims do not know. Even those who not all of them, not, all of them, my friend. You listen, will see. No, listen, listen, no, listen, you listen. Can't say that. No, you can't you see? say that. Man. Did you notice I am the they're one? They're all wrong. My friend, my okay, friend. Well, okay, why there are a lot of like, uh, like priests are converting then? There is nobody. Is the one who converted do not know what Islam is about. They are stupid. They've been lied to. So, you know? So the people who converted from the uh, priest converting to Islam. My uh, friend, the, the, we have you have we have the dean of, of, of Islam and the Azhar University became a Christian. What does this have to do with this? If there is somebody is stupid, is stupid. So the son of Hamas, the founder of Hamas, his son became a Christian. Uh, this is not the, okay. this is not the topic. If if I if I have people convert into Christianity, it does not mean Christianity right. What does this have to do with the topic? We have a lot. You can go right now watch Al Jazeera. They say sixteen thousand Muslims leave Islam, convert to Christianity a day, not a year. Six hundred sixty something every one hour. But this is, will not be the proof that Christianity is the best. We are we are more than twice to three times more than Islam. Does that mean we are the best? No. It's not about who care about how many. There is atheist a lot. There is Buddhist a lot. There is this is not this is be smart, my friend. Be smart. When 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 Jesus came to earth. He okay, was, what's up? He, he was he have only 12 followers. Does that mean Jesus was wrong just because he have 12? Same thing as the Prophet Muhammad. He only had Khadija. Uh, Khadija, you know, well, Khadija. Do you know do you know who's Khadija, my friend? Khadija was a, a, a she was a widow. Okay, and she had many husbands before Muhammad, correct? I'm not sure about that. Okay, and she is a lot older than Muhammad, is that correct? She is a lot, uh, she was older than Muhammad. Okay, yeah, why, why, why Muhammad he married Khadija if she is older? You know that she's she... the one who approached him, not him. Ah, I have a story for you, my friend. I have a story that Khadija and Muhammad they made their the father of Khadija drunk so to, to make him believe that he married them to each other. Did you hear that story? <laughs> Never heard that. Man. Do you want to show it to you? For, from what so well, from what side are you getting it from my Christian friend, website? Not no. I honest honest, honest to Allah, brother. I will never show you from a Christian website, brother. Only from Islamic resource. Can you stop uh, doing that uh, accent, man? Just... <laughs> because what you are saying from a Christian well, website? It, listen, did, it's, did I it's, use uh, any yeah. Christian website? And the, since, no, you, since you call me, you my friend, you since me. since you call me, did I show you anything have to do with the Christians? No. To be honest, I don't know, like, cause I can't see the the thing. So I don't know what website you're trying to go on or what thing you're going on. It's not about it's not about I am showing you from a website. I use Islamic books. Website is just the internet, you know. It's the way to show things, it's not the target. So Khadija, she made Khadija and Muhammad, they have a plan. Uh, and the plan is because her father will not allow her to marry for Muhammad for Muhammad is not a good person he is not from a, a good equality of mankind he, so, was, he was in a good what do you mean by good quality well then you need to explain to me why she did uh, you know make Muhammad uh, you know uh, sorry Muhammad and Khadija they plan uh, to make the father get a drunk and when he woke up okay, no, uh, give me that give me that place and I want to actually look at it after all right no problem. what is that called okay hold on let me see let me get you the, the story 
is that a, like hadith or something is that what yeah, is that everything in islam is hadith even the quran is a hadith don't you know that bro what is that i'm asking i didn't ask you what is what i'm asking what is that from hmm. let us see what is that from the book of asira and nabawiya oh okay uh what is that again the book of asira and nabawiya and I will show you the hadith in the front of your eyes in the screen. Hadith. This is the book of a sirah. Sahih or sirah nabawiya. This is the book of Sahih of sirah. In hadith Ibn Abbas, رضي الله عنهما قال أن رسول الله ذكر خديجة وأن أبوها يرغب أن أن يزوجه فصنع طعاما وشرابا فدعت أباها وزمرا من قريش. You understand Arabic, right? Not the like Fusah Arabi, I can understand a little are bit. You, are, you, are you an Arab, my friend? Yeah, I was born in. Uh, okay, uh, so I am the only here and the only guy from India. Okay, so Fata'imu wa Sharibu Hatta Thamilu, Fakarat Khadija li Abiha, Inna Muhammad ibn Abdullah Yakhtubuni, Fazawujni iya. Okay, Fazawujaha iya. So the story translate. So Khadija and Muhammad, they made a party and they invited people from Quraysh and they made them all get drunk. Hatta thamilu. You see the word thamilu? No, no. Wait, wait. What is the word drunk in Arabic? Thamilu. You see it in the screen. Thamilu. I'm showing. I'm showing the. Are, are you sure thamilu is drunk? Yes, my friend. I'm sure. You can ask. Let me call my friend. Hold on. Oh. How do you know that the translation? Doctor Zakir Naik, please. What the word thamilu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, man. I don't Brother Tatar, the word thamilu in the Quran. And in the hadith, first of all, the word Tamilu have many meaning. Great temperance, he always he say that the word Tamilu mean get drunk. The fact they did not get drunk. The word Tamilu, it means they lost their mind because they drank a lot of alcohol. And there is a huge difference between they lost their mind and get drunk. My friend, you can check it in the dictionary. Listen. Hmm. Okay, so, you know, how, like, how do you know that website that you're like using it this is not a website ask, this is not a website you, this is not a website a this is like, not a website a this is not a website this is this is a, a, a photocopy of the book did you ask people like did you ask people uh, like what does that word mean i don't know like, you can ask anyone you want yes i you know for me I, my friend my friend i graduated from university of cartoon which is an islamic university everything about everything there is cartoon Flying carpet. Sorry, man, have a flying carpet. Sorry, man, he speak to. He hear the ants. Sorry, man. I mean, it's a cartoon. So I have, a, I have a degree in, the, in, in the cartoon of Islam. So yes, this is what they say, and this is the book in front of you. What do you say? And here Anyways, it says. And, I will have to look and, at it. And here, and here it says. And my friend, and here it says. Look what it says here. Look what it says, which make it more horrible, unbelievable. It says. Uh, this is the reference in the front of us. Akhrajahu Ahmad fil Musnad is exist in the book of Al Musnad to Imam Ahmad, volume number one, uh, three twelve. Wal Bayhaqi in the book of Al Dalail, two seventy three. What Tabarani fil Kabir number one three eight three eight and Al Haythami volume number nine, page number two two zero. And mention in Ahmad, mention at Tabarani, and then it says here, وَرِجَالُ أَحْمَدُ وَالطَّبَرَانِ رِجَالُ الصَّحِيحِ And the men who reported this in at Tabarani and Ahmad, they are authentic, sahih. So what we will do now? What kind of a prophet, him and his wife, they make their father of the wife get drunk, which means this is a fraud. The guy did not agree to marry her. The guy, he woke up in the morning. He said, why am I waiting this? Why am I wearing this clothes? She said, well, yesterday you married me. Uh, uh, you married me to Muhammad. The story there says that. I'm not making things up. It says, So when, when you know, he wake up from being drunk, 
He said, look, look himself, you're wearing those nice clothes, which he wear only in party. So he said, what is that on me? Why I'm wearing this? She said to him, what? You do not know that you married me yesterday from Muhammad? He said, I am going to marry you to this guy, this orphan? I swear by Allah, no way. Okay. So Khadija, she said to him, wait, wait, aren't wait, wait, you ashamed? Can you read that in Arabic? In Arabic? Faqala, zawajt, faqala, zawajtani Muhammad ibn Abdullah. قال أوزوج يتيم أبي طالب لا لعمري فقالت خديجة أما تستحي شيء خديجة شيء ستهم أرين تو أشيم do you want people to make fun of you تريد أن تسفيه نفسك عند قريش do you want do you want the people of قريش the tribe of قريش to make fun of you because you take back your word are you going to tell people that you were drunk which means you were drunk when you married me and then she keep going saying that to him until he have no choice but to accept this is how Muhammad he married Khadija. It was a one hundred percent fraud. So, you, so you that think that so you think that the narrator is hundred percent true in his translation. Well, it says 100%. here. Here we go. This is the book. Okay, this, my friend, this is your so, book. It says it's you, as authentic. It's a sahih. Like I said, you cannot assume what you find. It's true. You know. Mm, okay. It's better like, like you know, there is a. Mm. Okay. You were never a Muslim, are you a Christian, right? I was a Hindu before. Okay, you were a Hindu, right? No, I, so know, like, I was a Hindu. But because, do you like you see do, what, do what you happened? Know the let, let, let me tell you what uh, let me tell you what happened about me being Hindu. Because I heard that the biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter. And the second I saw that I became Hindu. Okay. Do you know why the Quran have a chapter that's called the cow chapter? Surah Surah Al Baqarah. Yeah, Al Baqarah. No, I don't know, but my friend Al Baqarah is really driving me crazy, because once I was in India doing a seminar, and by mistake I was trying to make the Hindus not to believe in Islam. So I said to the Hindus, "Do you know that the biggest chapter in the Quran is the chapter of the cow?" Right away in the spot, more than ten thousand Hindus converted to Islam. Immediately. Okay. Okay. I made a mistake. I will never mention that again. It was a big mistake. So, my friend, if I'm going to show you how stupid this religion is, it's going to be English. So, I want you, I want you, to call your Listen, man. to call your Listen, I want to say, man. Okay, you know, uh, name me like one sheikh or imam or something that's saying. Oh, Christian is stupid. Oh, all the Christians are that. All oh, the Christians are fuckers or something. Have you ever heard say people saying that? Or a famous Imam saying that? You, your Quran saying that? No, like I, I'm, I'm asking about the uh, the people. Well, are, are you are you saying are you saying that you your Muslims are better than Muhammad? Muhammad says that the Quran says that. So you are saying to you Muslims are better than Muhammad. maybe maybe he's ref referring to like the people of the uh, that day. Not he's not referring to uh... all the people. People you don't know that me. they all right okay all right all right my friend thank you very much for calling me i I'm, i would be waiting for you to call your sheikh to call me and yeah. let us see what he will say about what you just said to me uh, we will ask him the same question is that fine i don't mind that but okay. anyways if he says all right all right okay but I, anyways but, no no but do you promise me do you promise okay. me do you promise me you will ask your sheikh to come and call me if I will, if he says yes, I'm down. I don't care. No, no. Uh, do you promise me you will talk to him about that? I cannot make no promises, but I will try. No, no. I mean, why, why you will not talk to him about that? Why you don't tell him what happened? Tell him there's a guy I called him. I could not answer anything. Uh, Islam looks stupid when I was talking to him. I did not know what to say. I want you please to call and prove him wrong. I mean, come on. He is the, you know, he gets salary for what? He have a full time job making money. From your pocket and the pocket of the Muslims, but he's yet, not making no money, man. What are you talking? What do you mean? About? Who who is the one who pay for the salary or in the mosque? What do you mean? Who's the one who's paying? Who is the one who pay not? the guy? Who, who's who's the one who pay his salary? What do you mean? Okay, when 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 a sheikh he work in the mosque, who is the one who pay his salary? Not us. Look like, who does then hand who. So, I don't so, know, but so, not so, us. So, so don't not like don't we don't give the we don't go to pay and give money. It's optional. If you want to like give to zakat or you know, my friend, this is not true. Not true. I must tell you have to pay zakat. It's not an option. Anyway, anyway, 
No, I'm, you don't get what I mean. Like every Friday, there's a place that we, after right, prayers, right, okay. we give money. If it's optional. Did, did but you, there's a God, you have did, to do it. Did your sheikh uh, ask you to, do, to join jihad somewhere before? What do you mean jihad? <sighs> to go and kiss never, some Christians ever, and Jews. Ever, ever. Why? Ever. Okay, I never what? heard a single that's, saying that. That's mean he's a fake sheikh, my friend. He is not a, he's not a bro, good Christian. Bro, listen. No. Really? I never heard someone say that. Maybe those extremists. That's the per people that say that. Ah, so you are going to go. You are going to a mosque like Susu or so, like Susu Susu. It's not a real Shoot. mosque. It's not a real mosque because a real mosque should teach you to go and do jihad. Really? Yeah. Jih jihad doesn't mean that. Oh, to kill uh, yeah. Christianity. Yeah, the Quran says chapter nine. It verse says 39. killing the enemy of Islam or yes. Uh, not, uh, yeah. yes. yes, A struggle is a struggle. My man. friend, it's no. My friend. What struggle? Struggle by by cutting my throat. Do, do you struggle when you cut my throat? Listen, so let's say I'm fighting against someone who is my enemy. Hmm. Okay, my friend. That means jihad. All right. Oh boy. Do you see guys why I'm not married yet? <laughs> Abdusalam, why are you calling again? <laughs> no, no, you didn't say bye. You didn't say anything. You oh, just okay, hung up. Okay, my friend. Okay, because in really, uh, it, it's, it became boring. Uh, I want to say yeah. thank you very much for calling me. I and, really, I really, yeah, no problem. I really, no problem. Man. No, Anyways, first, I want to thank you. Can you like answer I wanna, one thing? I want to. I want to. I want to thank you really because I learned a lot of things from you. As an example, I learned that when you, when a Muslim he say we read Quran for him, he say the word shit. That's something I learned from you, and that really, I will remember. really. Yeah, you, listen, you did. Did you, did you deny? Did you deny or not? I, I, at, the, at first, I just wanted to ask you some question from the Bible. I didn't ask you like to debate or something, or huh. you asking me something from the Quran or something. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, call anyways, me, call me tomorrow. Tomorrow, because my time no, is up. Now. Oh, I know. I have okay, my. I have okay. my. I, I'm married to four women, and I have four mother-in-law. And you can imagine how so, so, you can imagine how yeah. hard it is to, to keep up with four mother-in-law. I mean, how we can do it as a Muslim brother? I don't know. Four mother-in-law, brother. Unbelievable. Why? Why? What happened with you, sir? I have four four wives, and I have four mother-in-law, and they are making. Okay, life. are you trying to make fun of a Muslim now? I'm not making fun of Muslims because Muslims don't believe in four mother-in-law. They kill them. You sure? Yeah. Okay. okay. Anyways, yeah. Okay. How many Just... mother? How many mother-in-law <clears throat> Muhammad he have? What happened to them? Do you know? No. You tell me. I, 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 as I know, he get rid of them. By by doing what? Well, the mother of Aisha, you know, she have a hard time. Muhammad, like only when she gave a gift to Aisha, uh, you know, the, the wife of uh, Abu Bakr, she came to give a mm -hmm. gift. This is the only time he allowed her to come because. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you think? Anyways, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, anyways, yo, okay. um, I might have to call you back tomorrow. Anyways, right. yo, uh, what's it called? Can you like explain one thing before you leave? Yeah, no problem. I I know the question. I, I know the question. What is it? Tell me. Where God's? You said uh, I am. Uh, Jesus said I am God worship. No. Okay, let me give you a second question. I didn't ask. Uh, no, let me answer my question. No, no we I have a, we have a tradition. Uh, we are, we are Christian. We have a tradition. We try to guess the questions of the Muslims because they are very hard. Okay, go 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 ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Why Jesus in the Quran say No, no, it doesn't it's not even close. Man, man. I'm really disappointed. Okay, what is the question? Uh, anyways, <laughs> can you uh, explain Luke uh, 24 19? Mm -hmm. What Luke 24 19 saying? Tell me, Rich. Hello? Yeah, I'm listening. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What Luke twenty four nineteen saying? No, no. I mean, I mean, not Luke twenty four. What? <coughs> uh, Luke four four uh, chapter four. My four, friend, my friend, call me tomorrow. Call me tomorrow. Okay. You don't even know what 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 you want me to read. No, no, no. Yeah, I found it right now. Okay. Okay. No problem. Luke, call Luke. me tomorrow. Tomorrow we will have more time. Call me tomorrow. Don't tell me what you wanna what you wanna ask. Save it for tomorrow. Make a surprise for me, so you can get me busted. I have it already. Right it's now. okay. It's okay. But you know, I'm 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 done for today. It's okay because as I said. Anyways, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll see you later, man. Yeah. See Call me later. tomorrow. Don't forget. Okay. Inshallah. Okay. What what does that Inshallah mean? God willing. That's mean you would never call me. 
really. Yeah, because when you say inshallah, Allah never did anything. Did Allah do anything? Here we go. You are from the Middle East, I'm from the Middle East. Go to the Middle East. We call the electricity company. It says, why we don't have electricity? They say to us, we will fix it, inshallah, tomorrow. tomorrow. See how, see, see how, like, you like to talk more than I do? Sure, I like this to talk. What's wrong? What's wrong with that? I know you like to talk, but my friend, but what you say to me, inshallah, inshallah, mean nothing. That's mean you will not do it. This is why the Middle East is, is horrible. Go to all Islamic countries, is, is, is garbage. They keep saying inshallah, but nothing happened. Oh, my friend, call me tomorrow. No problem. Anyways, I'll see you. All right, inshallah, <laughs> inshallah. Uh, brother, why we don't have electricity, brother? Brother, we promise you, brother, tomorrow, inshallah, we will fix it, brother. Okay. We call them after two months, brother. Still, the electricity is not gone, brother. Brother, we call you two months ago, brother. Customer service. Why the electricity is not coming? We told you two months ago, you idiot. Inshallah, we will fix it tomorrow. But, brother, you said to me that two months ago, brother. Yes, we said that to you two months ago, but it's still tomorrow. Do you understand what tomorrow means? And we said to you, Inshallah, Allah did not will what we can do. Copy paste religion. They have no idea what they are talking about. Alhamdulillah, Inshallah. What does that mean? They have an idea. Yeah. Why you say that? No. Guys, did you have a good time today? Did you have a good time? How many of you hate me? Be honest. Be on, be honest. Be honest. It's okay. <clears throat> Will you debate Arabic Jews? My friend, there is a guy, his name is uh, 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 Toriva. I want to debate that guy. Otherwise, I, don't, I, I have nothing to do with the Jews because I believe in their book and we have nothing to debate about. They want to debate me about the New Testament. Who care? They believe, they don't believe. 99% of the Jews became a Christians already. What is left of the Jews is not even equal to a size of a town of the Christians. You know, if, if Jesus himself came to them and they don't want to believe, why I want to even debate them? Psh, go. They have better than Jesus? Correct, guys? Can I do better than Jesus? Jesus, he spoke to them, and those who stayed don't want him. They made a decision. That's it. I'm not going to waste my time with them. But there is a guy, he claimed to be a rabbi. He always praised Islam. This guy, I cooked him in many videos, and I challenged him to debate me, just because he defend Islam. Otherwise, I am not interested in debating Jews. Jews are coming to Christ sooner or later. If you go right now, you see, this is why, by the way, Jews, generally speaking, they believe Christianity is a real threat, is not Islam. Because most of the Jews disappear because of Christianity. This is why you see Jews attacking Christianity a lot more than attacking Islam, even though they, uh, you know, they, uh, uh, they knew that the Muslims, they hate them. We have a person saying, pagan, Christians are pagan? Mm. Are you Abdul, my friend? <clears throat> the one who's calling us pagan? The one who's calling us pagan, are you Abdul? Hello? Josh Harbel? No, not Josh Harbel, how say that? Let's see who is the one who said the Christian pagans. Stephen King, how are you Stephen King? Stephen King, I think you need to change your name and call yourself Stephen Turkey. It's your day. Do you like to call me Stephen King? So I will make you a turkey of Thanksgiving, brother. Do you like to be the turkey for Thanksgiving for the Christians? I'm giving you an opportunity. The Jews could never be Christian. That's stupid of you. All the apostles of Jesus are Jews. I mean, officially, you are a certified donkey. Let me give you a certificate. Hold on. I will pay for the print from my own money. Guys, don't he deserve a certificate? How you say the Jews will never be Christian if all the apostles of Jesus, they are Jews? Hello? Brother? 
Hello? You are very smart, brother. <clears throat> hey, by the way, guys, I have a copyright over certified donkeys. All the phrase I say, I they are copyright registered. You see, the, the problem is a human being sometime. I don't know, like I wonder if some human they have a brain of a rabbit or the rabbit have a human being the brain. Do you know what make those people similar to the rabbit? Anyone knows? Who, who, anyone notice? Uh, uh, have you ever looked at the rabbit? What the rabbit he do? Who noticed with me what the rabbit do? The rabbit he do something always, non-stop. He keep moving his lips. No, no, he keep moving his lips. Mm -hmm. Those people they move their lips, but they say nothing. Stupid. Move your lips as much as you wish. The only difference between you and the rabbit, the rabbit don't make noise. You make too much noise. Stupid noise. Gas. In America, they call it fart. Everybody fart from his, except those people, they fart from their mouth. Hello? Is this a replay? Yes, this is a replay because we have a rabbit. <laughs> is that a replay, brother? Unbelievable. Imam Ali, I left Islam long ago. Okay, Imam Ali, good for you. Sound like a smart person. Uh, uh -huh. Anyway, I, well, I hope today, guys, I, I it was a Thanksgiving night and I wanted to share some time with you. And I hope you guys, you enjoy your time with... Uh, Christian Prince. What about C. L. Edward? What about him, my friend? What about him? Uh, I heard somebody told me he he became a Muslim again. So who is he? Hmm. People are free. He want to get some versions. He will leave Islam again. Look like his guy. He you know he have um, problem. Because there's no point of leaving, coming back, leaving, coming back, leaving, coming back, unless you have any issues. Correct? I don't want to put him down, but I mean, it's not it's not a behavior of somebody who have a healthy brain. Uh, even if he come back again to Christianity, he need to question himself why he's doing that. Right? There is there is a there is a lady <clears throat> in Palto, two 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 women. They go to Muslim room chat room and they take shahada takbir allah akbar the muslim invite their friends allah akbar takbir brother invite your friends few weeks after they come to my chat room i talk to them about islam they decide to leave islam and they became a christian christians invite your friends glory to the lord hallelujah i mean okay two weeks after they go to the muslim room they become a muslim again Brother, sister, takbir, takbir, Allahu Akbar. Invite your friends, brother. Invite our sisters. They became Muslims again, brother. They come to my room after two weeks. They speak to me. They became a Christian again. Oh, brother, invite your friends. Hallelujah, hallelujah. They became a Christian. They accepted the Lord. They go to the Muslim room. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. That's what they do. You know, they went to the Muslim rooms. They became Muslims again. <clears throat> Then they came to me again. I kicked them out. I said, you are a bunch of idiots. You are looking for attention. You have mental issues. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, there are some people looking for attention. You know, they can find attention by doing that. Because they go, <clears throat> uh, they go to this place, suddenly they became superstars. 
convert into Islam. Muslims will greet them, big deal, blah, 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 la, 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 la. They will invite them to speak about their testimony. Then they leave Islam, they became a Christians, and the Christian, they invite them to talk, what happened, la, 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 la. And then they became superstars. But they are dumb. And they are people who have uh, mental issues. We don't want that. And we don't want those. You see, if I became a Christian or not, that will not make a difference to my Lord. I am no one, and you are no one. We don't do a favor to God. We do a favor to ourselves. He do not need us. He do not need believers. He do not need Savior. You need one. Do we agree? So it's very foolish, you see, when, for, for us, when we try to invite people to Christ, I'm not doing favor to Christ. He do not need you. The judgment day is coming, my friend, and everybody will be sorry. And let the God of the vagina help you. Let Muhammad, who the Muslims agree, that now he is in the grave, give you his paradise the paradise of virgins let us see if you will have it or you will be screwed people they make decision in their life and life all of it is about decision make yours this is not about god winning because God, he will win anyway. Even if the whole earth denied him. Do we agree, people? Do we agree? God will win anyway. If I believe in Jesus or not, you believe in Jesus or not. That's it. He's God. You can do, you cannot, you can do nothing about it. He, he is the winner. He is the only winner, actually. And if we win... Because we took his side, as simple as that. Which means because he is the winner, we will be the winner. So you believe, you don't believe. You see, <clears throat> uh, Islam, the idea of Islam, that Islam will take over, the idea itself of proving that Islam is satanic. Because what taking over mean? Isn't about making the earth better no is it about uh, making uh, humanity live better no because muslims they will kill each other anyway find me one muslim country are not slaughtering each other what muslims when we talk about muslims taking over what muslims there's millions of islamic sect and all of them they hate each other to death they want to kill each other and they are killing each other every day so it's impossible for islam to take over because what islam would take over Secondly, wherever Islam goes, bloodshed goes, security is gone, economy collapsed. The only reason for Saudi Arabia right now to have economy is USA. If Trump right now, he said two words about Saudi Arabia, about the, the, the crown prince, Saudi Arabia will collapse. Trump, he made two tweet, two tweet, cause Turkey lose 60% of the value of its currency. Two tweet only. What if he make two or three tweet? You know what I'm talking about? Even the countries who have security, they have security because of Western countries. Otherwise, they have no security. Two tweet, because Turkey jail a Christian minister and they don't want to release him. Trump, he made two tweets and he made it clear. I will give you 30 days, you take him out, or I will make the third tweet. And then they have no choice but to leave him. Anyway. <clears throat> Did Abraham speech preach Trinity? That's a good question, my friend. Uh, my friend, look like you, you claim to be a Jew, but obviously you are a Jew made in Hong Kong. 
because isn't it the Bible says that in the in the book of Genesis verse number one and verse two that God he created everything and his spirit was above the water above the earth so there's God there's spirit isn't it the Bible speak in the Old Testament that God he came to Abraham as a man which means God came as a man isn't it the Bible in the Old Testament says that he God he made Adam in his image isn't it the, the God of the Bible says oh Israel your God is a heart and a heart is mean one as unity that's why the Bible in the Old Testament says the man he will leave his family and he will join his wife and they will become a God they are two but yet they are a God my friend you do not know your book you claim to be a Jew but the fact you are a potato do we have any Muslim here hello God is good. God is good. And God don't leave leave himself without. Hello? Oh, looks like. Hello. Hello? Oh, Christian priest. Hey my friend, how are you? How are you? I'm all right. Who's talking? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just, uh, just, uh, I just want to. to I, I'm, I'm gonna make a, a short speech, not a long speech. I just want to thank you uh, for opening my eyes. Just, uh, I've been reading and investigating. I've been the guy uh, who have been talking to you since Pal Talk, and uh, I just want to talk to you. Well, I mean, well, I really thank you. Thank you for man. opening my eyes. I, I don't remember really talking to you because I talked to thousands and thousands of people. So. Can you remind me of yourself a little bit? Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, actually, I was a uh, uh, submission to Islam. Submission we to mean, Islam. Uh, I remember you, man. We you used to do, do, argue with me and debate with me, yeah, and you yeah. were proved me wrong. Unbelievable. Here we go. Yeah. Glory to yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Thank you so much. I just want to thank you. Uh, uh, third time, uh, I just came to know the truth. That's amazing. So, so now you became a Christian submission to Islam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, unbelievable! That guy's this guy. He was so aggressive on me. He was so aggressive on me. If I am correct in, in my memory, talking about the right person, he was so much tough on me. Like Christian Prince is a liar. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah. Christian, don't believe in Christian Prince. Whatever he says to you, uh, glory to the Lord, my friend. Glory to the Lord. What happened, my friend? Tell us what happened. Yeah, I just, uh, I understand that uh, I was on the wrong line. I was reading uh, different books and uh, just like uh, reading the gospel through time, just uh, with good heart, came to know the Lord. And uh, I remember I just went to uh, one of my family's house and then uh when i uh, mentioned the name of uh, yeshua al masih uh one of the maiden uh, shout and the, there was a demon i cast out the demon and i came to believe the name jesus is above all names i mean brother. i have seen it on my own eyes it works well i'm i'm happy for you my friend and thank you, you thank you for opening my eyes don't, thank you don't I thank just me. Want to i did nothing my short friend. speech i did nothing okay thanks the lord I'll keep in touch don't thank me thanks the lord okay. for for having you Okay, All right. thank you for because uh, I'm, I can say I'm your fruit. Well, I do my best, and you know, um, you don't know who is listening, who is not. And here we go. Like I, I never thought actually you you yourself you will leave us now, but the glory to the Lord. Yeah. You know, He's amazing. I'm happy for you, my friend. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Happy thank you so you. much. Take care. Take care. Bye -bye. Thank you for opening my eyes. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. All right. Amazing. This guy, I thought he hit me to death. I thought he would kill me one day. <laughs> uh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. See, guys, this is why I say, you don't know, you don't know, like, how much... Um, 
I mean, how, how much change you can do? And you think you are just a one person. The Lord, he will use you. The Lord, he will use you. But you need to allow him to use you. He will use your tongue, but you need to give him your tongue. You have to give him that I am going to serve you. And then many will come and many will believe. Those who curse you, that's why Jesus, he said, bless those who curse you. There's a wisdom behind that. Because if we curse them, we are no better. Here we go. This gentleman here, who was a person who hate me, uh, uh, as I remember, uh, and, uh, because you know it's 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 Chad. There is many people they call themselves like many names. It's hard to remember. But as I remember, there was a person who was named Submission. Um, he really so he hate me too much. And uh, uh, actually, for me. When somebody he hate me too much, it mean I am able to make a difference. I'm able to hurt the nerve. You know what I mean? And that is good. Well, we are happy for him. I hope his family they accepted Jesus too. They accepted the only true God. And I hope his wife, his children's. They will come to the, the good God and they will believe and they'll be saved. At the end of the day, uh, uh, you know, it's not a Christian prince who did anything to you. I am just a person sharing the truth with you. It's the Lord. He always, he said, you know, uh, knock at my door, I will open for you. Ask me, I will answer you. So the day you decide to answer to, to ask, you get the answer. It's you who made the decision. Uh, if there is any debate of CP with Shia, yes, I have a debate with the head of the Shia in USA. His name Imam uh, Hisham al Husseini. But be careful, brother. If you watch the debate, you might die laughing, brother. Because the guy he went crazy. Hisham al Husseini, he is a big sheikh for the Shia. He was a consultant for George W. Bush. They hire him in the, during the war in Iraq because they need to recruit a lot of translators. And because the Shia, they love the war in Iraq because here we go. Iraq became a Shia, controlled by Shia because of George Bush. Uh, this guy, I have a debate with him. In ABN, but it is in Arabic. But I literally, literally, I made this guy smoothie, not juice, smoothie. He lost his mind. Those who speak Arabic, they can go watch it. If any of you actually have time and you speak Arabic, if you would like to translate that debate to English, that would be wonderful. All right. <clears throat> And trust me, debate in Shia is not different from Sunni. It's the same same garbage. It is two, it's two faces for one coin, but it's the same garbage. Shia, they have a lot of stupid stories, even more than the Muslim Sunni. If you have my books, as an example, uh, Six and Allah, I have some examples of the stupidity of the Shia teaching. As an example, if you if you wear a black shoe, anyone remember what will happen if you have a black shoe? What will happen if you wear a black shoe, according to Shia? Who remember? Nobody remember? What will happen if you wear a black shoe? No? Ah, okay, let me give you. According to Shia, if you wear a black shoe, your penis will not work. And this is a true brother. I used to live a brother in a town, everybody wear a black shoe. And we found that there is no kids there. Nobody have babies because it's not doesn't work. It doesn't work. True story. So the Shia, they have a lot of madness, garbage. You will not believe it. It doesn't matter, my friend. You are a Shia, you are a Sunni. I will make you a barbecue. It's even, even easier to debate a Shia. I get my book, you get my book, Six and Allah and Love, because there's a lot of things there about uh, 
about those things anyway guys there's some of you made donation I really I, I appreciate your donation and uh, I apologize I don't say thank you when you make it but I am sure you are not waiting for me to say thank you I appreciate all of you the one who make donation and the one who don't make donation I really um, I really appreciate every one of you I have a big family and you guys are my family and we are the family of the Lord that's why the Lord he told us the children of God by him and for him everything is created and yet we are his creation but yet he called us children. this is how amazing our Lord he don't want slaves he is not a person who have a self-esteem issue like the God of Islam he wanted slaves to the point Muhammad he said by Allah the one who have my soul if you don't commit sin Allah will destroy you and replace you with people who commit sin and ask for forgiveness hmm? yeah we should wear a yellow shoes <laughs> anyway guys so I want to say thank you for being here may the Lord bless you and I will try tomorrow tomorrow is a Friday so most likely we will be here on air at 3 30 p.m. don't forget to download the videos or let us say the end of this video because we played in the beginning the debate uh, and then we have another Muslim Abdul calling me and we have mr. submission uh, what his name was submission to Allah right was his name submission to Allah yeah I think he said yeah I forgot really you know uh, it's, it's hard to remember people who spoke to you there is I spoke to tons and tons and tons of names and there's you know especially the I, I never met them we never saw each other we don't know how they look like to remember how they how their face looked like so glory to the Lord we have a we have a, a person uh, submission to Islam submission to Islam yeah uh, we have a person who accepted this the Messiah uh, yeah yeah submission to Islam because in Paltok there was many submission everybody want to submit but to who they have no idea <laughs> oh boy uh, and the second they notice that there's no one to submit to they decide not to submit no more at least to that God uh, anyway let us uh, let us uh, say uh, uh, a little prayer for everybody in this uh, Thanksgiving day that may the Lord bless you and bless your family I remember to be thankful for what you have for what you have is priceless and you will not notice how it is priceless until you miss it if you are a person who have health you will not notice how priceless it is to be healthy until you get sick if you are a person who have brain and you have intelligence you will not notice how priceless it is to have a brain unless you get sick and you lose your brain and you don't want to you want to you don't want to have that you will not notice how priceless it is a piece of a bread in your table and you eat it until you are hungry be thankful for this is the key of happiness a person who is not satisfied with what he have he have no happiness he have a miserable miserable life because it doesn't matter what he have, he want more. When he have more, still he want more. Be, be a person who appreciate and thankful, for that will make you happy. And if you are happy, who care about how much you have? The point is, if I'm happy or not. Imagine you are a person who have the money of the owner of Amazon, the richest man in the earth, but you are not happy. So what this money does to you imagine god forbid you are the one who have the money of steve job and then you got cancer and all the money you have could not save you appreciate your health my friend you will not take your money with you you will not take any glory with you they will put you in a box and they will bury you in the dust be truthful be thankful for this is the key of happiness thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you and this is a Christian Prince I say to you good night and until I see you tomorrow Christ is Lord and Islam is false see you soon again bye bye <laughs>